He's available. Call today. You can call Don and Mike anytime from anywhere in America. 877-365-3636. They're ready to believe you. Any day. Paul McCartney and the chicken tenders. Oh, hi there. Good wings. Hello. Hi there. Oh, hi, Tony. Okay. Hi, Don and Mike. Hi there. What about Paul? He's a fag. I don't think so. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Jerry, you saw Paul, right? And then I sat and really worked it. Wow. Yeah. How about you, Joe? I'm on my second bear. <laughs> Testicle fortitude there. <laughs> Bob Barker. The Don and Mike show. And they'll say what they wish. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Oh, look at him. Just standing there. Doing his gay I love Paul dance. Yes, it is very gay. Look at him. Ta-da. He's mentally retarded. He must be back. How, how, is, how, is, how is? I was wondering, how is your fried cricket? How is your telephone? Not good. No, I got one for you. Yes. Don't answer it really. Okay. How's your credit? <laughs> How's your credit? Fine. Okay. That's right. Good afternoon, Mr. and Mrs. That Dump. one. That one. I'll make him explain to you in a second. Oh, good. You'll get great joy out of this. Oh, you're good. This, out of Mr. Swingin' Dick. This you will like. <laughs> good afternoon, Mr. and Mrs. Yamin and all the ships at sea. They are. They are perfectly normal. Yes. Don Geronimo and Mike O'Mara. Thank you. Thank you. Thank according, you. Thank you. According to who? Most surveys reflect it. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, thank you, Robbie. Yeah. I appreciate it. I like saying you can tell by the smell. Don and Mike show. And it's a new episode oh, on this Thursday. Thursday. 05 Zero six. Hi, Don and Mike. Buzz Burbank here. No, he's not retarded. Buzz is the only one who's not. And uh, hi there, Buzz. And uh, folks, here you go. Phone number 877-365-3636. That's the main number. And right, don't forget, we'll be playing the most requested song in the hour, top of every hour. High School Spirit Contest as well. Hello. Who's on the line? Who's on the line, Eric? You can also call 800-636-1067. And for a limited time, yes. you can call 202-432-1067 if you're listening to us on WJFK in Washington, D.C. Enjoy that number. Let's see. Uh... Also, uh, we are on the Internet. You know that. If you're listening on your computer, you know that. If you don't already, go to your computer. Go to Don and Mike website. Dot com. Click on Listen Live. Uh, we are also on iTunes. About 99 episodes are up there. Go to iTunes under Talk Radio. And, of course, we live in the electronic age. Yeah. Go ahead. Send us an email. We won't read it. No. We got a guy who reads the email. That's right. Try sending us an email from anywhere in the world. You can send the email to donandmikewebsite.com. Worldwide. That's the official website of the show. And here's... The first call of a new show. Hello, Don and Mike show. Hey, Don. I just heard the other day on the radio that um, uh, Paul McCartney and his one-legged lady are breaking up. You're kidding me. No, that's what I heard. Why didn't you, you call us sooner? You are kidding me. I, uh, no, I'm pulling your leg. I turned the mics off now. You can't hear it. Just wait. Eject, eject, eject. Mm. Even his tone was dumb. Yes. Eject, 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 eject. <laughs> but I got hold on before we actually start the show. I got something. Speaking of um, Heather Mills McCartney, yes, yes. Yeah. you know, great one-legged wonder. Mm -hmm. I got this email from somebody. Uh, let me see. It's uh, from Yahoo. It's a Yahoo News story. Ah. Uh, this is way back from uh, September of last year. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me see. This Tuesday, after an animal rights rally, Paul McCartney's wife, uh, PETA, PETA activist uh, Heather Mills McCartney, right. urged demonstrators to boycott JLo's music, movies, and clothes huh. because her fashion line uses real fur. Oh. However, when she tried to deliver a video, a video of animals being killed for fur to Jennifer Lopez, 
she met with more than a little resistance. After walking into the building opposite Manhattan's Bryant Park with an entourage of journalists and photographers, Mrs. McCartney, who lost a leg after being hit by a car in 1993, right. was confronted by burly minders who yelled, You have no authority to be here. Get out. Leave the floor immediately. You have no authority to be here. I can't believe we didn't have this story. Listen, here's here's where I'm leaving to. Right. In the tussle that ensued, yes. <laughs> Mills McCartney's prosthetic leg became detached. Oh, oh no. She bent down and clutched for her leg. Uh -huh. Wow. <laughs> before asking to use the bathroom <laughs> so she could reattach it. What yeah. a seam that is. Guards refused. And she was forced to cling to a photographer as she carried out the humiliating task on a stairwell. Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> Wouldn't even let her use the bathroom. No. We should get some burly minders. Okay. There you go. <laughs> she should have hit them with her leg. <laughs> I mean, I can't, I can't believe that we didn't have that story that, that she was uh, at a protest against J-Lo and that we're trying to, the burly minders are pushing her out of the way <laughs> and her leg fell off. Yeah. Am I the only one who's turned on? <laughs> Never knew you were into that, Rob. Hot. There are guys that are. I know. And uh, listen, in our segment with Lisa, the homeless chick, who's still living in our office and living in our garage, right. we do have mm, maybe some sex, sex, sex capades to tell you. Really? Oh. I don't want to say nothing because yesterday I called her a pump, and she said she's not a pump. Very she didn't like that at all. That. We'll get into this. I'll just tell you what I've heard, uh -huh. and we'll hear it from her in a couple of seconds. Good. She's pregnant. Um, well... Last night, uh, there was another fella who, uh, from what I hear, came by to, to see her, right. to wine her and dine her. Wow. And, uh, this they, is uh, off the radio, obviously. Right. And they went to... Hank's Look Around Cafe. Sure. They went, they went to Mike's joint. Right. right. And uh, they came back, and I guess she wanted him to come inside, uh, so to That's speak. That's rare these days. And uh, did now, she meet her when they were out? Or did... I, I don't know all the details. Okay. I didn't know that there was a guy. Uh -huh. And when they got back, Joshua Tree, because it's his job to make sure that she stays in the office. Right. And no one else can. He said he can't come in the office because it's after business hours. So they, um, the two of them, uh, got the bottle of wine and uh, spent the night in her car in the parking lot. Spent the night. That's. What I hear. The whole tray? Oh, that's my God. All I know is the uh, Robert's lasagna was virtually untouched. That's what I hear. Oh, that'll break his heart. Did you see it out there? Did that's... you see what resembles like a uh, a bombed-out grocery store that we have down in the hallway? And you know what's sad is that there is like 24 hours of disc jockeys walking by. Touching every one of them, touching it, but not eating it. Every, yeah, Picking yeah. at it, touching yeah. it. There, There's the noodle soup that it's it's unopened. There are <laughs> half-eaten donuts. It's a crime, right? A, a loaf of bread that's been untouched. I know. Well, those are all the uh, loving surprise uh, supplies uh, that uh, Robert De Niro brought by yesterday, famous actor. And I, I just, um, it's very sad to see his wonderful lasagna sitting there uneaten. And now, of course, now it's ruined. It's yeah. just been sitting out in the warm, you know, fluorescent light. Well, we will talk to HLP in a couple of seconds. Homeless Lisa Pump and we'll find out exactly what she's doing, and really, what, and what she's up to. A night in the car. So uh, who knows Who knows what happened? Uh, well, I guess Joshua Tree will know, too, right? Yep. We're going to give a whole break to them and, and find out Excellent. exactly what was going on. Uh, I did want to give you a quick update uh, because uh, I do like telling you what's happening in my new life, right. you, know, uh, right. you know, being the... The modern, uh, the modern uh, widower. Mm -hmm. uh, big step last night, as I mentioned. My girlfriend actually spent the night on a on a school night, mm. and um, it, it was late in the show yesterday, and we were running late. And I apologize about that. If you're a four hour listener, like the last half hour yesterday was commercials. There's just there's just dick we can do about that. Right. There's just nothing we can do about that uh, because if we talk longer than twenty minutes at any given time. We're late. Mm -hmm. I mean, really, in a perfect world, they'd have us break for commercials in, in two minutes. Right. I mean, we can't break for commercials. No, in two we're minutes. not ready. We just, no, got, we here. just got here. Right. Well, we're going to work. We're going to work on it. Right. Um, we ran late yesterday, and during all of that, uh, at about six thirty, she called me up on my cell during a commercial break. Now, my dog had to go to the vet today. Uh, my little one, Max, to have a bunch of stuff done, and one of the things was that he wasn't allowed to eat after right. you know, like six or seven o'clock, whatever it was. So she called, and she said, um, I guess it was pouring rain. She said, uh, hi, uh, the key doesn't work. The lock the lock to your house is broken. And I said, well, you know, uh, okay, I don't know what to tell you. I go to the back door. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. Click. Hang up. Uh, <laughs> you know, the next, so we, we come on. We did like two minutes of radio, three minutes of radio. Right. We go to break. I call her back up again. She's like, okay, well, there's another way to get into the house. What's the code? And And again, this is where, you know, 
I bought, you know what I said to her actually? No. This is, I was frazzled. We were in the middle of doing yeah, the show yesterday. Yeah. It was crazy here. People are yelling about the commercials. I'm right. on the phone with her. She says it's raining. I can hear the dogs barking, waiting to be let outside. She says, I don't know what the code is to open the other door on the other side. Because mm. we got like an electronic panel thing. And I said, you know what? Ask Frida. <laughs> For just a moment. Wow. Right. right. <laughs> because, yeah. well. Yeah, she knew the number. She I, don't have it. I don't know the number to get in. Right. Well, so. she was asking for the code. I might have said, a, I, "Watch, you ask little Ron Howard." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he knows who it is, baby. Wow. <laughs> that's <laughs> a, that's little Tommy Hank. Da Vinci Code. Yeah, wow. No, the yeah, code. Wow, wow. that's wild. Wild, wild. <laughs> that's Da Vinci Code. That's wild. Wow. Right, wow. Yeah, bad movie. Wild. Wow. Mm. So, um, <laughs> so she she got inside the uh, inside the house, good, and uh, good. thank goodness uh, it was a it was a good night for her to be there because. Uh, Oh, boy. Am I a mess by myself? I mean, she, by the time I got home, had already called the locksmith uh, and, and, you know, already figured out what was wrong and, and was like saying, you know, this lock is about to fall off the door. Right. I said, well, she, when were you going to fix it? I said, eh, uh, you know, I don't know. I can yeah. get around to it. You know, when it, when it falls off, I guess. Right. Uh, so we had, a, we had a good night last night. Now, here was, here's, here's the problem. Uh, and not really a problem. It's just to that point in the relationship where... You know, she's over on a school night, mm -hmm. and we, you know, we got to get up in the morning, and she's got to go to work, and I've got to do work, and right, it's right. like it's, and, and she's got some bone chip spur thing happening in her foot, so, Ouch. so as we were sitting in front of the TV watching, you know, the Elliot Yamin, uh, you know, uh, trial, right? Uh, which is what I like calling the, uh, the American <laughs> Idol final, when, finals now, the when, trials. When the jury came back? Yeah. Last night? So she's got her leg up in this big thing of ice water, which is what they've told her to do. Mm -hmm. Elevate the leg, put it in ice water. And she's had uh, maybe a mild painkiller, but she's had, because she's in a lot of pain, mm -hmm. she's had oh, quite a few drinks. Okay. And even to the point where at one point I said to her, and, and she's not a, a big woman, she's a rather petite. She said, when I brought her her third drink, mm -hmm. she said, <laughs> she went like this. She went, thank you. Mm. I don't think you put any vodka in that. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. And I said, became immune. I said, right, because that's that's pretty much how I live. When someone comes over, I either water down their drinks or don't give them drinks at all. Did, did so, she say anything like, I'm going to write a book? No, so what I did is I went, I went out to the, to the area where the, 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 the liquor cabinet, right? Right. And I, and I come in, and she's sitting in the cave with her... Go out to your atomizer jug. With the, with the, yeah, with her foot in the thing. Right. And really, I've got a two-liter bottle of vodka. It's a pretty big bottle, yeah. right? Okay. I bring it in the room and I say, when I came home tonight, this bottle was new. Now, I poured myself one drink, of which my drink is still sitting right there next to you because I've been running around, you know, right. because I didn't want her to, to you know, put uh, pressure on her foot. Right. I said, you've had this much vodka already. How dare you say, and I wasn't serious, like, how dare you say I'm shorting you? And she said, I'm just telling you, I don't feel it. So right in front of her, I said, I'm not even going to use a shot glass. I, I held her glass up, and I had this big-ass bottle. I said, watch. <laughs> glug, 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 So then she says, okay. You didn't really give her that many glugs, did you? No, I did. The ones that you just did on the show right now? Glug, 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 glug. How many Six glugs? glugs. Six yeah. glugs. That's like three shots. As a matter of fact, wow. so full, I said to her, well, now there's no room for any cranberry juice in there. She said, well, just go put a just go put a little in a splash. Yeah, and I mean, really, I could have taken an eyedropper and put an eyedropper of cranberry. So she likes the taste of the vodka, right? So bonus I, party. So good, I, so good I bring vodka. her that. Was and it a flavored vodka? Of course, a vanilla vodka. Vanilla. Okay. Yeah. So uh, yummy. So the the problem <laughs> the problem then is. Well, Mike, of course, it's vanilla vodka. I mean, no. I, why would she have something that she likes in my house? <laughs> exactly. No, I'm, I'm lucky. She, she likes the taste of it. Okay, good. Just like, just like you know, you know, Frida liked the taste of it, too. You know, you know. act like we're all supposed to know. You know, you change it once in a while. You you change the rules of your alcohol. You don't so how long you been on the... How long you been on the vanilla vodka? Wasn't it wasn't it orange prior to that? It was, yeah. and there was citrus before that. Yeah, there you go. Okay. You know, Flame and, before that. As soon as they were flavored, I would really. Like <laughs> so anyway, she's uh, she's relaxed. Okay, she's right. Foot isn't hurting her so much. Good. And a real telling moment was I know we were talking the other day about you know chicks and like pausing TiVo and mm -hmm. and we're trying to watch American Idol. And really, I mean, she's a very sweet woman, and I am, and I, I'm very fond of her. At one point, I, I just paused it, and I said, enough talking. It's the first time I've ever said this to her. I said, 
I would say this to Frida. You know, I have to preface everything by saying, you know, right. so she's just like, I'm a giant jerk just to her. I said, no more talking. Mm -hmm. No more. Every time Taylor Hicks comes on, I don't want to know Taylor Hicks' history. Right. I don't want to. I I I said I don't want to know what song it is he's singing. I don't want to have to discuss anything. She said, "Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll I'll stop." So we kept watching, but we kept having to pause and pause mm -hmm. and pause and pause. But I'm really not upset because you know you're really only working towards the last five minutes of the show. Sure. Right. Where <laughs> really just put my foot 100 percent in my mouth. Uh, and thank God she was a little loopy. She she didn't even realize this. Probably not. Um, they're, they're announcing their results, and Ryan Seacrest says, and, you know, one of these people has 33 point whatever percent. The other person has 33 point whatever percent. Great reaction from the audience, because each time it was, ooh. Now, oh. ooh. after they give the second 33 point whatever percent it is, mm -hmm. she grabs my arm, and she says, oh, hey, 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 hey. I said, oh, okay. I pause, I pause it, because it's been a while. I said, right. yeah. She said, yeah, she's a smart woman. She's a little loopy. She right. said, how much do you think the next one's going to be? <laughs> I said, are you kidding me? I said, 33. She said, how do you know that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I said to her, hold on a second. You have a job, right? You're a successful businesswoman. Mm -hmm. She said, yes. I said, 33, 33, 33 equals 99. Mm -hmm. And then all the other, you know, tenths of a fraction add up to the point. She, she said, this is, now how can I be mad at this? She says to me, this, is, this should show you how, how really out of her mind was. She says, you're so smart. <laughs> well, yeah, that's, uh, nice. that's right. I'm, that is nice. I'm a genius. Good and did you, of course, did you agree with her at that point? I, yes. Uh, that, yes, that, I am. Now, please, just, just hush. Just please, just sit obediently and let's just please watch the last five minutes of this show. It was rich. It yeah. was a wonderful show. And, and then the real test was this morning because this is the first time that she's been over on a work morning mm -hmm. and god knows i prepped her for it right. god knows it's i said a, you know so you you informed her that there would be a kodiak bear coming down to the kitchen table <laughs> you know there shouldn't be a a lot of of conversating mm -hmm. right there, there should be just this coffee mm -hmm. there should be uh, Lots of it. You know, i mean i don't perhaps communicating with a series of hand signals as opposed to real dialogue clicks and grunts right. and uh Boy, you would you would think that that she was like uh, John McCain in 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 one of the Vietnamese uh, huts, yeah, being being held prisoner. Because, Why? Well, because she <laughs> get up at like quarter till six and said, "Okay, well, this is where my day starts." And she said, "Okay," and like a rabbit, she's gone. I mean, wow. not literally, she's gone. She didn't leave the house, but I mean, she's gone. It's and it's like, and I go downstairs, I let the dogs out, I. Put the coffee on. I I, I started doing what I'm doing. I'm, she's I'm, she's left the premises. No, no, no. I mean, she's hiding from me. Oh, I see. Well, she, well. she left. She left the boudoir. Uh huh. To go somewhere else. So now now here's cowering in the basement. So now here's what what's happened. Like 15 minutes have gone by, and now I'm I'm like going. Huh. Hey, hello, <laughs> hello, hey, man, hello. Yeah. And I hear from upstairs. Is it okay to come down? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yes. <laughs> Hi, it's Johnny Ass. <laughs> there you go. Come on. She's sitting at the top of the stairs. <laughs> so so she comes down. She comes downstairs, right? right. And she says, okay, I'll, I'll stay out of your way. Had you, had, had you ingested coffee? I, I've had like half a cup. So yeah, I'm okay. I'm kind of warmed up. Mm -hmm. And she says, okay, okay I'm going to stay here. I'm going to make the coffee. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm just reading the paper. And next thing I know, I hear the door opening. And I, and I see her standing out in my front yard on the telephone. So she comes back in, and I said, uh, you know, you, you're welcome to make as many private calls as you like. Uh, you know, I'm not your boss, but you, sort of, you, you can use the phone inside the house. Mm -hmm. She said, oh, I, I, didn't, I didn't want to disturb you. Right. right. I said, well, you know, I said, well, who are you calling? Said, oh, just the locksmith. And I said, wow, for your house. Yeah, for, for, yeah. for my house. Wow. So, so then uh, the locksmith oh, locksmith came over, fixed everything, fixed. Wow! Uh, and then she she's uh, calling the locksmith for your house, and she does it outside so as not to, to disturb, disturb you. Wow. I know this will not last. Jesus! And uh, and then she took my dog to the vet. Say, <laughs> you know, because I'm so. Sounds busy. like an absolutely wonderful person. I agree. Because yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, shut up, you. <laughs> no, I, I, what do you mean? You remember? I mean, you spoke to her yesterday on the phone. You, your comment was, uh, she, "You said she sounds happy and bubbly and 
Well, after that story, I can't understand why she didn't sound happy. And you were surprised. Yeah. And you were surprised. So uh, anyway, uh, things things went great. Good. So the experiment was a success then. Things went great. Mm -hmm. I just, uh, you know, without being uh, totally uh, disgustingly graphic, uh, she's she's learned one of the rules, which mm -hmm. is uh, the the rule is really uh, on a school night, mm -hmm. uh, generally speaking, uh, after ten o'clock, eh, there is not a chance of, that of any. Uh, no, no, because you any know normal I mean, relations. I mean, I tried to explain this to her. I said, uh, listen. Uh, Lunesta works very fast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I said, you're not up for it, That's so to speak. No, I, right. I, I said, I'm, I'm a creature of habit. You know, I, what, what's on right now? Law and order. You know what that is? That's go to sleep time. Sure. For me. Those shows are perfect for that. that that's go to sleep. Sometimes time. I think that's the way they were written. <laughs> so anyway, she, she seems to be cool with the, uh, with the plan. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, if she's listening, um, hi, uh, thank you for everything you did. Uh, please, uh, <laughs> Please make sure the dog is 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 okay before you pick him up and and drop him off tonight, and then she'll leave. Yes. Oh, and <laughs> thank you for her in advance. Will she leave before or after she draws your bath? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I mean, this is all this is all new territory to me. I know. Right. She's also good. She mentioned she was going to be in Baltimore today with her job. Right. She traveled a bit. She said, "You know what? I'll do. I'll, I'll also pick up some of those." Uh, those crab, uh, those crab cakes you like so bad from that place right off six ninety five. Jesus! Wow! Wow! I know. I'm just, I'm just waiting for it to turn into a regular girl. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> just enjoy it while you can. Oh, uh, trust me, I enjoy it. Trust while me, you I can. am. Because yeah. I mean, you know, God knows I love Frida, you know, more than anything. Mm -hmm. But this, this to me is, you know, it's like at least at this point, it seems to be pretty much, you know. My way, and, and get this, <laughs> all, she says all that all that she requires is just the fact that. Gosh darn it, I seem to care about her. <laughs> and, and you're smart. You. You're what, killing me. What's so crazy yeah. about that? Wow. It's like, that's all that's required. Okay. You know, hey, you're a sweet girl. Right. Boom. she go to Costco and buy me 8,000 rolls of toilet paper. That is great. <laughs> I don't even have to ask her. She seems to enjoy doing for you. She, uh, her, her motto is, it's my pleasure. And it sounds like it. <laughs> well, let's see how. Let's put that to the test. Mm -hmm. to give it a time limit, and it'll be fine. Yeah. Well, I thought the time limit was going to be last night. To be honest with you, <laughs> I thought she'd be gone. Yeah. You'd wake up in the morning. She's vanished. So anyway, that's uh, fine. that's just the update on that, and that's that's nice. And uh, and then we had uh, the story of Rob. Uh, Rob uh, today, who was out at the uh, the circuits of city, uh, the city of circuits, yeah, city, city of, of circuits. City I of like circuits. that. I like it when you give it the New Delhi name. <laughs> city of Welcome to the city of circuits. And as always, when Rob goes out somewhere, I'll let him tell the story. But when he goes out somewhere, he is Rob Spiewak. From the Don and Mike show. Okay. I, I mean, okay. he's, he's. I'm, I'm at the Circuit City a lot. He's you might known, remember me. He's known. I'm as somewhat of a famous radio personality. Uh -huh. Went in to buy a phone. Right. I needed a new phone, uh, like a, a hard line phone. And uh, the manager, his name is. Uh, Princess. What's that? Princess phone. Yes, Princess it's Peach. Phone. Right. It's very nice. Uh, the manager is there. I think his name is Rick. And he goes, he said, Rob. You are here all the time. I should just mail you one of everything. And he's very pleasant. He comes over and he says, I just want to tell you that the show has been sounding great lately. You guys sound like you're having a great time. Mm -hmm. Right. And I said, well, that's great. Thanks so much for saying that. Love that you listen. He said, here's Benji, come here. And Benji is another guy there. And he comes over. He says, I listen to the show every day. My, my wife listens every day. And you guys are great. Sounds like you're having a great time on there. I said, ah, that's the best, you know. Nice. And, you know, you, you get the nice feedback and it feels really good. <laughs> Yeah. Sure. And, you know, you feel Get a little of a star it. treatment. Yeah, and you like it. And I said, right. okay, well, I need this phone. What are the handsets I need with this phone? And he says, well, you'll need this and this, and here you go. And if you ever need anything, he says, by the way, is that move to Rockville really going to happen? And I said, absolutely. They're building a new studio for the show. It's going to be great. Right. And so he's, a, you know, really into it, and it's very nice. And I go up to buy the phone, and they take my credit card, and yeah. they say, Sir, do you have another card? Oh, <laughs> your card oh, was declined. I said, uh, you know, the fight. <laughs> I don't. Oh, uh, no. Maybe you could try keying it in by hand. Maybe the strip. It's an old card. That maybe might be whop, it. whop, whop, whop. And it comes up denied again. Oh, and boy. They, well, denied. And they said, well, uh, what should we do here? How are you said, doing, superstar? I said, well, <laughs> let's try this again another time. <laughs> Thanks so much. Oh, See you later, friends. Oh, so thanks oh. for all your support. I got to go. Keep listening. So they, they, they wouldn't put 
put on put it on your celebrity charge plate? I did not have my celebrity Washington shoppers plate with me. Take care, guys. Johnny Bad Credit heading out of the store now. Wow. Yeah, and the odd thing is, is the millions of times before that it really should have been declined and I got away with it. <laughs> this, there's actually money in there. Uh, you yeah. are the star. I got go to wow. Wow. figure yeah. out what's up with that. And you know he's lowballing it too because it's really got to be. Yeah, the show's a lot better. Well, you know why? Well, I finally got that per, that 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 promotion I've been waiting ten goddamn years. I knew for. that I could do it, and I know that I'm really the brains behind the show. <laughs> What'd you say about the credit card? Well, is that <laughs> oh, boy? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go. Just keep the phone. Have to go produce a little money. Hello, Don and Mike show. Hey guys. Hi there. Um, you were talking about the sexcapades of the, the homeless gal, but did you know that um. Your boy Josh had a junk, hot junket in his sleeping bag last night. They were talking about it on the junkies this morning. Wow. Oh, oh, he's not even getting a little action himself. Oh, Practically my. an orgy going on here. Oh my. All right. Well, then we will have a, a double inquisition yeah, because uh, I didn't know that. Oh, my yeah. My goodness. Now, uh, a junk cat is what? Like a cheerleader for the junkies, right? Yes. Okay. Wow. So did, it's supposedly was, a very hot one. Were they were they just sleeping together uh, this morning on the radio, or were they... He did not go into details, but there may have been spooning. Spooning. Oh. <laughs> and at his age, spooning, you know you know what that means. Yeah, but hold on a second. Well, no, I was going to say he hadn't bathed, but I guess he did go home and bathe. Yeah, yeah he, he was, was clean when he was here yesterday, so he's probably clean going out last night. Right. Uh, okay, well, thank you for the update. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye. You know, you were mentioning American Idol, and I have to make a confession to you about American Idol. Yes? Because I, I do this any time it happens, and it is the truth. I am not proud, but I had a Rudy moment. You cried last night? I was He's watching, a fag. I'm watching the... Uh, During American Idol, you cried? Let me, can I explain? You can May try. I explain? Yeah, go, yeah. I did not watch Thank it live. I, I, I did not watch it live. Okay. I watched it T-Bowed when I came home later on. Okay. And I watched it, and, and Carla agreed to watch it with me again. And we're watching it. And right at the scene where Ellie... Elliot Yamin oh, no. is in the parade, and they show his mom. I hear from the right side of the bed, Carla say, "Is that a tear?" And I'm just like, and I said, they said "No, no, no, it's not." How much no, did you no, have to drink not. last well, night? Well, see, there's the explanation. Right, right. a good bit. Uh, well, that'll do it. A really good bit. That'll do it. I mean, I, I, it, it, it's He's my, a fan. it's my back pain. It was just, apparently, it was this single little tear that ran from the right side of my eye, my right eye, mm -hmm. totally down the cheek. Like, and and like I that, said, like I that, did, I like cried. Like that Indian from the commercial where right. I threw the garbage out I the window. I don't think I'm the only person that got choked He's up. A when his mother, with the head on the stick, was overcome with emotion because I think Richmond, Virginia, had turned out in such force for yes. his parade. Yes, you are probably the only man that doesn't suck D. I that was crying. I could not help myself. I was overcome. With no offense to our homo brothers yeah, out there, but by way of explanation, you will know that it might any been, Orientals. <laughs> it might have been a little <laughs> Irish, you know, a little of my Irish sentimentality that came oh, I, through. But he's not Irish. I, I'm saying I am. It's the, the nature of the beast. I am who I am. It's an Irish thing. It's an Irish thing. Here is, is. Joseph Ardinger. Yes, Joe. It's okay, Mike. <laughs> My wife cried. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> See, I, I knew I wasn't the only one. My wife cried last night. Really? But not because of American Idol. Had not nothing to do with American Idol. He wasn't on. <laughs> not a bit. Just touching. She's so overcome and that's pathetic. So delightful. It is not You're pathetic. You're such a queer. I am not. Does she walk? What the mother? Miss the widow, you mean? I, I, Mike is a query. I don't know. I don't know. If Elliot Yami. It wasn't because of Elliot. It was because no. look at how wonderful Christ. his mom yeah. looked. Yeah, you you want to know how I processed it? Okay, you bunch of insensitive bastards. Cry for his dentist. May I cry, cry for, for the all? Please. Cry for the guy that's got to <laughs> smell that breath and look at those dog teeth. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> his Let mom say seriously. Me? <laughs> Would you like to know the thought process? She's in the. She's sitting there, barely able to to breathe right. in in the back of that uh that, that convertible, and she's not going to be around much longer. Okay, I think we Did all you know think, that. Mike? And I just was for that moment, and perhaps it was my it was my guilt. 
for the entire season going, hey, uh, which I did. Who knows? But all of a sudden, I was in that boy's corner, and I... My, my my whole you cry. My whole McFeedom just went out the window, and oh, I suddenly no. began to say, "Wouldn't it be wonderful if the boy was voted?" But we all knew he was going to be voted off. Oh anyway. God, God, you pussy! And, uh, have, have we seen the mother walk this season? I don't believe so. I think she's always been in a sitting position. Michael Mara stars in Robo Pussy. <laughs> I don't care. First I don't he care. cried in Rudy. I'm in touch with my emotions. Now he cries when Elliot Yamin gets booted off American Idol. Crying is okay. I do it every single morning, just like the lady on broadcast news. Every single I take the, unplug the phone. <laughs> I unplug the phone and I have my moment. That's what I do. No, okay, uh, right, you know, on, Godspeed, Elliot. Let's see, Godspeed. If you can, let's see if you can hold it together. Okay. You ready? Yep. Let's look at the lowest percentage. 33.06%. Who is so close to going on, but is going home tonight? Let's see it now. <laughs> Elliot Yami. Oh, God, no. Well, you have a lot to be proud of. No. No. God, is that poor love his mama. <laughs> he loves his mama. And then what's amazing is right after I got that emotional, I suddenly became incredibly violent. <laughs> no, no, I'm just, just, I'm just, uh, just kidding. Started breaking up furniture. It's not fair. It's not fair. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Hey, look. You know, no. I, it's okay. It's okay to show your emotions. It really is. Sure, it is. Yeah. Right. It El is. When Elliot Yamin gets voted, it off was not. Now you have, now you're twisting. You're <laughs> twisting. twisting. I didn't. I didn't get emotional because he got voted off. You're not telling the truth. No, hold on. Hold on. Which is which is I got emotional. Which, which is truth. I got emotional which is truth. during the parade. Which is truth. When you cried about his mother, mm -hmm. or yesterday when you laughed when we, when we talked about how she might have like a shrunken head, or she, or she might look like the head on the stick, like in Wayne's World. Is there anything wrong with both being true? <laughs> is there is there You're so can't, complicated? Can't you be? I am complicated, and I, I think it's fine to laugh at, at the fact that her head looks like a shrunken head on a stick. <laughs> it I think does. it's fine. Just like. <laughs> Like from the uh, Renaissance Festival. I was so emotional that I, I sent his mother six copays. <laughs> wow. That's funny. Uh, he, that wow. is horrible. Rob That's wrote that. Not in Mike's show. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. No kidding. Like, that didn't reek of him? <laughs> yeah, that, that, that period. I couldn't tell. <laughs> Hello. That Don, vile. Don and Mike. Hey. Hello. Hey. Yeah, look, when, when Yamin's mother came on the TV, man, I was I was waiting for her to call him my precious. <laughs> oh, that is but that that is the best like the creature in the Hobbit. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> 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 my precious. Every time she came on the screen, I just fucked up, man. Thank you, my friend. Bye! <laughs> it has to be good, Mike. My precious. <laughs> my precious, Elliot. Hold on. Yes. What if she gave him some car soprano? <laughs> oh, God. That's my handsome man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh -oh. I don't know. I, something's very wrong with me. I, I think it's, yeah, the, well, it's the back end. That's right. right. It's, the it's, it's my sciatica. <laughs> I think it's your spastic teenage colon. <laughs> My precious. That's Hello. the best so far. Don and Mike show. Hello. Yeah, did you see the big brown beaver that lady was holding last night in Birmingham, Alabama on American Idol? I saw it. Oh, oh you mean a real beaver? Yeah. Are, Are you talking about Catherine McPhee? No, no. In, in, no. In, when, they went down to, uh, when they went down to Taylor Hickstown, someone actually had a real-life uh, beaver. Oh, oh really? Why? Yes. yes, they did. Why? Well, I think I think it was dinner. Oh, I see. hey, you know the guy that, that when uh, when Taylor Hicks was playing with his band mm -hmm. and the one guy that was playing guitar with the beard, I've jammed with that dude. I played I played uh, I played music with him. Oh. Uh, Sam Sam Gunderson is the guy's name. A really really good guy. That's not gonna that's not gonna sir, save me from the crying, is it? I didn't cry when I saw him. I just I knew that dude. He used to be around in Washington. Area. Hello, Don and Mike show. What's up, fellas? Hi there. Hey, uh, my sister was in Vegas. Remember when they were in Vegas with Barry Manilow? Right. Uh, the, oh, the American Idols, yes. Yeah, and uh, they were at the Palms that night, and uh, Taylor. They they saw Taylor Hicks and Elliot and the uh, Bucky guy there, and they went up wanted to take pictures, and uh, Taylor big time them real hard. Just no pictures, no pictures. Stay away. 
But Elliot was cool to everybody. Took pictures with everybody. That's why he's out of the competition, my friend. Mm -hmm. That's why he's out of the competition. Nice, nice, pay to me, nice. nice guys never finish first. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So Mike, hold it together. I'm sorry. Hold it together. <laughs> Goodbye now. Bye. They will be all Goodbye. right. Goodbye. What do you mean? And now we got Taylor Hicks and Elliot. Let them hey. have all the pictures they want. Hey, how that pickler short haircut, huh? Nice. Oh, mm. yes, very. Someone strong. should. Have, someone. Should, she could still be on that show mm -hmm. if they would have fixed that hair yeah, a couple I of weeks ago. I love that look. Mm. Very, very nice. H O T. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Don and Mike. Show. Hello. Hi. How are you? Hi. We're doing great. Last call here. We'll hit a break so we don't get all backed up. <laughs> I saw you guys last night at uh, the restaurant. Well, that, that was, oh, now hold on just one moment. Uh, it couldn't be me at a restaurant because I, I was at home uh, with my girlfriend, Mike. Was it your restaurant you were at last night? I was at my restaurant, but I was at another restaurant also. Um, this was in Fairfax City. <laughs> eh. No, sir. <laughs> no. Wrong! Wait, you, did you see two incredibly obese, uh, near death men who look like they could be friends drinking each other under the table? No, it was it, well, the initials are DV in Fairfax City. What? What, honey? In the, the, the Dolce Vita? Oh, Dolce Vita, the, the name of the restaurant. Yeah, but, but I'm asking about the fellows that you thought were Mike and I. Did you see two morbidly obese men uh, that looked like who would perhaps would have to wipe each other? Both, <laughs> both with canes? <laughs> what made you think you saw Don and Mike? I, I thought I recognized the voices and I thought I recognized the faces. I mean, mm. I, I've been listening a long time and I've only seen your pictures a couple of times. Uh, but as I said, were they incredibly obese? Uh, one of no, them, not incredibly. Were both of them enjoying the bottomless pasta bowl? Well, no, they sat down with another gentleman and said... Both of them enjoying all the breadsticks they want. <laughs> was one of them crying? <laughs> no. Sobbing and About the other Elliot one was yelling him? I, so I was just finishing up and leaving. I was sitting at the bar. Ah. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, Barfly, how you doing? No, 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 no. I, I was eating by myself. And I, oh, 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 that is so sad. Oh. Eating by yourself. <laughs> when, that is so sad. No, I mean, I'm, I, I, was, I had the evening to myself. Cause Mike, I just, is, Mike is crying. <laughs> why, why did you have the evening to yourself? Because uh, it was my night, you know, my, my, I'm divorced and my, my ex-husband had my son, so I don't mind eating by myself. Well, you really are sad. No, I'm not. It's just, it's like, I don't mind. What did you, that. what did you enjoy? Uh, no, I've been there. I, and I know exactly. And you're eating alone is something you, you get used to pretty quickly. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind doing that. So, what I did you enjoy? What did you enjoy for dinner last evening? It was veal marsala. I don't mind. Oh. Yeah, it was very good. <laughs> That's great, JC. Yeah. So. I, I, was, was that, was that you guys? I thought it was. No, 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 no it was we, not we us. Said, seriously, it was not. It, it was not us, no. Oh, it wasn't? So I, um, do you, no, there, do you have any uh, do you have any gentleman callers that you dine with occasionally? Or? Well, you know, I I'm engaged to a, to a fireman, and he was. Oh, uh, you're engaged, then I don't feel uh, sorry for yeah, you anymore. Right. Well, <laughs> ask, why why the other guy leave you? Well, well, well the first husband was a fireman too. So. Oh, and you went you jumped right back into the right fire. Under, That's another guy's husband. Well, the first husband he he um you know he had some accidents you know his penis fell into other women. I'm sure he's just a complete accident. <laughs> what a nice way of putting it. He tripped and fell, and I'm sure it was a complete accident. Uh, <laughs> it happened. I understand. Okay, well, you know, listen, at least your husband didn't go Johnny Cakes on you. Could you describe the men you saw last night? I'm sorry? Could you describe the men you saw? Can I describe what? The, the men you saw that you thought... You understand why that marriage ended. The men that you thought were, um, were Mike and myself. They, they were, um... <laughs> <laughs> one was, um, no, one was, he was, they were both like in their, you know, yeah. early, 30s, late, late, no, late, 20s, early, early you, I'm not even, I'm not even married to you, and I'm, <laughs> so they were either in their later or early, one guy looked, you know, I, I one guy looked, he, he looked said, like uh, what? Okay, you know, it looked like, end of, Jesus looked Christ, like, looked like end of I'm call. sorry, looked like end of call, yeah. you know what I would do if you're engaged, and, and good luck, <laughs> Go go get married right now because the more time he spends with you, the more time he has to change his mind. Time is not your friend. They were both in their late to early. Uh, they were having. Uh, oh, uh, uh, oh, Elliot's mom, my precious, my precious, the ring. Tell everybody out there, be a love and uh, sit through these spots, and then we'll be back on the other side. We promise. Okay. Number 15 Arbitron rated, The Don and Mike Show. Yeah, hello, Rob. It's Dick Van Patten. Um, I get back next Saturday night, uh, so I, I see you'll be here Sunday, uh, the 19th, I guess, right? Uh, the 20th. So uh, 
I guess I could see you the day, guys, then, on the 20th. Because I have to leave again on Monday. Okay, let me know uh, how we can work this out. I go back to Salt Lake City tomorrow. But I'll be home today. Bye-bye now. Come on, everyone. That 80 is enough reunion show is about to start. Well, Mary, have you seen Nicholas? He's up in his room sulking, Dad. Yeah, he's still upset because Abby threw out his baseball cards. Oh, well, maybe I should make him a sandwich. <laughs> oh, Dad, that's your solution to everything. <laughs> Dad! Dad! What? Eight is enough. <laughs> <laughs> you know I love you, girls. <laughs> Be done in my show. It's time for a little rippy dippy on the Don and Mike Show. All right, before we get the usual suspects in here for today's homeless Lisa update, yes. yes. This is a segment on our show at West One brought to you by Head On Dude. Head On Products. Yes. Available without a prescription to retailers nationwide. Try Head On today. Uh, of, of course, American Idol kicked ass in the ratings last night. Yes. But here is some interesting ratings information. Break down. The towns where the contestants are from. Uh, Los Angeles, uh, ooh. second, ooh, second biggest market in America, a uh, 19 share, 68% of all TVs were watching American Idol. That's pretty significant. Big fees from there. How about in Richmond, where, you, where your boy Crybaby right. uh, was from? Mm -hmm. Elliot Yamin, a 35 share, 75% of all TVs in Richmond were wow. turned on American Idol wow. last night. It sure looked like that. He had quite a turnout. How about Birmingham? How Birmingham do? Taylor Hicks? Yeah. A 52 share and 82% of all people watching TV in Birmingham were watching that show last night. That wow. means he's a god in Birmingham. Yes, so. He that truly is. is. I'll tell you what, that beats the hell out of number 15 Arbitron Raider. <laughs> it really <laughs> does. I like it. Hey, look at you. you got 82% of every goddamn booger eater in Alabama watching that TV show. Yeah, absolutely. And it's the magic box, too. The power of the magic box. Right. Well, and what was the percentage? What was it? Uh, 82. 82%. 81% yeah. watched it black and white. <laughs> 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 it didn't matter because he's got that gray hair. <laughs> All right, well, good numbers for that show. Let's yeah. bring in, um, you know, let's get let's get right to Lisa and uh, Joshua Tree. Lisa, homeless Lisa and Joshua Tree, who is, of course, the guy who is protecting her this week at the station. All right, time to find out about the sex capades last night. Yeah, Here she comes. Oh, you guys look tired. Hi there, Lisa. <laughs> you guys Hi, look oh. tired. Hi, Joshua Tree. How you doing, Phil? Hi there. Okay. <laughs> now let's start with uh, Lisa. Now you might remember Lisa uh, came to us last week, late in the show. We got a phone call. She's homeless. She was right. drunk and homeless, <laughs> calling us from her car. Right. And we said, "Come on." She starts a job at Home Depot. Or did you go, did you get offered a better job that you're going to take instead Possibly. of that? Possibly. I have to talk to Amy. Okay. Either way, she's out of here on Friday. We're giving her a room and boarding for the week. Mm -hmm. She's sleeping in her office during at night and in an. Gone. Done. What? Yeah? Lisa's chewing gum. Oh. Oh, yeah. There you well. <laughs> Did you just swallow it? Mm -hmm. Oh, dear. I bet you've heard that before. <laughs> oh. And maybe you'll be able to work at home. Maybe you'll be able to work at Homeless Depot. Ah. Aha. Aha. So, anyway, she's very nice and she's homeless and. Wonderful. And she's staying in our office. From 7 p.m. to 8 a.m. Right. And in her car during daylight hours. But somehow, well, we heard a rumor that maybe that got changed a bit last so, night. So last night you, you, you met a friend of yours? Last night, uh, my best friend, Thane, uh, was working in Falls Church yesterday and stopped by to say hi uh -huh. and brought some beer with him ah. <laughs> and had a couple of drinks. Rob's applauding beer. With me while, you know, listening to the show. And then Amy, who called. Oh, was this when you were in your car last night? Uh, this was before. before uh, this was uh, yesterday after. Uh, yeah, around, <laughs> after it was, it was around yeah. seven. There was when beer. I, when I say last night, I meant like towards the end of the show. Oh, yeah. Because when we were down in the parking lot, Buzz and I, as always, were commiserating. I was saying, like, you know, well, I'm going to go home watch American Idol. And he was just mm -hmm. giving me that, you know, oh, oh, okay, know. Yeah, <laughs> you're an ass. Wow. And, and then I heard the beep beep from behind uh -huh. him. And, yeah. saw, but, and, I, and I should have thought this. I saw Lisa wave and I waved back, but mm -hmm. I saw he was there as well, wasn't yeah. he? Yeah. Your gentleman caller he's was, was just, there? He's my best friend in the whole world. Just, yeah. Celebrity, <laughs> celebrity he most resembles from a distance would be Kevin Federline. Oh, he's a Federline oh, guy. Is he, no. a B, is he a BC? It's from a distance. BC. Booty call? 
No, no, no. Okay. Not at all. all right. He's just came by to say hi. Mm -hmm. um, right. Well, and yes, okay. we have breaking news. Excuse me. Oh. A very, 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 very angry Robert the Mailman. Really? Well, sure. Bobby. Hey. Hello. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah hi, Robert. Yeah, you're on there, Bob. We can hear it. How dare she not... You know, I, I, I thought about this yesterday. She's unfocused. She got a lot of problems, man. I'm very pissed off about that lasagna thing, man. And I'm not I'm not a player hater. The guy, if he banged her out, more power to him. You know, I don't care. But why wouldn't you accept my gift of food and let it sit there and rot? As a you know how much that lasagna costs? I mean, you and Kevin Federline, I mean, is he your best friend? Why don't you stay with him? Why is he okay, coming with you at a radio station? Now, now what the hell is your problem? Okay, okay. Well, now, Robert, calm down. Let's get an answer here. Hi, Lisa. Hi. Hi. This is our friend Robert. Who I know brought, Robert. Brought you food, uh, brought you lasagna yesterday. Yesterday, I, 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 now I, I was tired. I cooked that lasagna yesterday. I, uh, you know, Robert probably heard when I was saying when I came in today. I mean, actually, mm -hmm. today, mm -hmm. I walked by and I saw a little cubicle where he had put his uh, lasagna. Right. And uh, it, maybe one portion, right? Maybe one person. Had, I, did, I did even Wait, know. hold on. Joshua Tree, you had some? So you had some. Good for you. And and the rest of it was, uh, was on top. Tell Robert. How was How was it? What you ate? He's giving it a thumbs up, Robert. Robert. Robert, that lasagna was unbelievable. I had to sit down for 45 minutes after I ate it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's always just a little rich, and I understand that, but you understand, Don, that I'm, I, I actually feel bad. You know, I'm like, you know, she's homeless. What's the story behind it? We, I really don't know, you know. Right. And, but to go out and to be in the parking lot, not eat my lasagna, if you didn't want it, I don't, I don't want to call her name, but I'm very, very upset. She's right here. Robert, She's right here, Robert. Robert, can I, real quick, can I please explain something to you? My friend Amy, who called the station yesterday, who I haven't seen in 11 years, I knew her in high school, came by yesterday around 7 o'clock with her husband, Brian, who I also went to high school with. They drove all the way from West Virginia where they live. And both of them have offered to try to help me get a job. And they said, you know, we got a babysitter for the evening. We heard that you got brought dinner, but could we possibly take you to dinner? And you I said, said no. Well, oh, Robert, no, that's oh, not Robert. Robert. And Robert. we, we, Robert. I went with my other friend. The four of us um, <laughs> went to a Mexican restaurant nearby. And I don't give so, a f. I know you don't, and I'm sorry. <laughs> and I, you know, he is Robert the Angry Man. Yes, he is. Very, 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 I'm very really angry. upset about this. I am, all I can do is apologize. A hundred bucks. No. Just screaming into the phone. You know, it's not like anybody could, uh, you know, enjoy that lasagna now because no one had bothered to put it in the refrigerator. Can you hear me? Yes, hi yes. Robert. Hi Robert. I should come to the station. I'm, I'm not mad, but I'm not. What are you going to do? I don't do? need another domestic charge. <laughs> no, you, 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 don't, you don't need he that. He doesn't want a domestic charge. <laughs> that's smart. I, I, I feel bad for her, and I'm, I'm thinking to myself, she is a pretty, what, what is the problem? And she's psycho. Oh, she's now, psycho. Robert, you don't know that. Now, now, why are you saying such mean things? Because you, be, you appreciate, I don't give a damn if they drove. Where are all these friends before you got on the Dynamite show? Lisa, did you enjoy... You know, your friends, uh, hold on, Robert. Lisa, did on. you enjoy any of Robert's breakfast food that he brought? He brought you, I remember, the uh, the, the cinnamon Cheerios, I think. You think I can't see it from that damn series? Well, Robert, no, I'm hold just, on. I'm Robert, just seeing if we can repair this. Robert is dominating... The, Robert, 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 hold on, hold on. <laughs> As always, you're dominating. There are callers asking to speak to you now, Robert, during this Lisa segment. Hello. It's a mini. Hello. Hello. You're on the air with Robert. I, haven't explained I, I believe Robert is angry because she didn't want to hang out with him. And maybe no, 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 no. she doesn't like fat people with man boobs. Not true, a hole. <laughs> not true. I don't care about you. Like I don't you make it more for me. Step out and move on with your life. <laughs> Let me tell you something, Hop. Huh? <laughs> I can't believe that she wants to go with higher goals and being a postal worker. I'm a nice guy, but it's a fool because they know how I am. Yeah. Maybe she doesn't date men with dentures. <laughs> you can go to hell, chump. You probably got a kid by last night trying to get laid. You're just mad because she, you have boobs, too, just like she does. I don't care. <laughs>
get a bump, you have no palate D, okay? So kiss my ass. And you have fuck the phone. <laughs> Daddy. Daddy. Yeah. yeah. Are you in your life or a beat up? Final salvo. Faggot. Hey, excuse me. I'm going to come in and do my lasagna. You, you're gonna come and you, you're gonna come and get it, Robert. You're a bitch. You know that? You're a, you're a bitch, man. You're a real bitch. Okay, well, you're, you're the one with the boobs, not me. Probably watch American Idol and vote too, don't you? That would make you a woman, not me. Hey, I was trying to be nice, man. I got phone call from my friends saying what a nice guy I was to do what I did. I feel good about it, but I knew something was wrong. Oh my God! This is like Jerry Springer. Okay, I don't know if I can explain yeah, myself. All right, hold on. I don't all right, all right, hold on. I'm, I'm gonna get rid of. Let's. See. All right, Robert, you're the only one left on the phone. Robert, right uh, Lisa has said that she's not uh, done explaining. She wants to explain things. So uh, if you you listen to her for a second. Well, be honest, I'm the only one to talk to her. But go ahead. Okay. okay. Well, let me just tell you that's what happened. My friends did come in, and I, you know, I was looking forward to your lasagna. Um, maybe I should have asked. It would have been cheaper for them. They took me to dinner. Asked. You know, um, Joshua Tree here to bring the lasagna outside, and we all could have had some. It didn't even cross my mind, and I really apologize. Now, and that was that, now that, Robert, that, Robert, that was a heartfelt apology. That was a real apology, Robert. Stay homeless. <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> all right. As you can tell, he's all a right. forgiving man. Nice talking yeah. to you, Bob. <laughs> Thanks, Robert. See you next time. Bye. Bye bye. Wow. He's, that was a, fun. he's a very forgiving man. Stay homeless. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, you know what's nice is that you know I, I'll be honest with you. Yesterday uh, when Robert came in doing all those nice things and smiling and just I, I'm always very uncomfortable with that. I, I really like it when it, when we see the real Robert come through and uh, it was uh, that that's what you got a taste of right okay, there. Okay. So you, so as you try to explain to Robert, and we'll pick the story up. You had friends from West Virginia who heard long you on the away. show a long way away. Made the drive to D.C. Mm -hmm. They took you out to eat at the Mexican place last mm -hmm. night. You had some beer. Now, here's where I want to ask you what happened, because you described a male and female, a married couple that showed up. Yeah. Yet, what I heard was that there was some other guy that you wanted to bring back into our office. Well, they, they left. They got a call from the babysitter, and they left. We came back here, and um, it was my friend Dane, and I was, you know, I didn't know what the rules were. I there. <laughs> Hold he on. is a friend. He's where'd, a platonic friend. Where did he come from? There, he uh, lives nearby. That's the person's house I shower at, and the person that I can't stay at his house because his roommate doesn't like me. <laughs> okay, well, I, don't okay. I don't remember all that, but okay. Okay. So you, you wanted him to come back to the uh, to the office. Well, so, I, so you really he, had he had been drinking, and I didn't want him to drive. Okay, yeah. so you really had three. I'm, I'm not busting balls. You're trying to clarify. You had three friends show up. You had a couple show up, right? And then was and we're not saying you're trying to break the rules. I mean, this is just. Right. I mean, you no, that's not what this is about. We just, just want to so find we, out what happened. So, so then the one the married couple leaves because yep. their babysitter's gonna leave, and yep. now you're left with your friend who you were friends with before you came on the show, right. and he's too drunk to drive. Right, and I didn't want him to drive. All right, well, that's good. And, uh, and things, he wanted to, and jump, the, his, and he wanted was, to jump his bones, no, right? No, that's not true at all. No. We he made up, no, he he passed out. It, we were sitting in my car, and he passed out, and you're not supposed to be a legal liability. There's not supposed to be any sleeping in the parking lot, which is why I have to stay in office. And so I stayed up with him, sitting in my car, as he slept, and then this morning he got up and he left. So you're very apologetic. So did you stay up all night? Basically, yeah. I've had um, I left this morning. He got in his truck and drove, and uh, went wow. and had he bought me breakfast to apologize, and I took a nap for about an hour and a half, and I haven't slept. <laughs> so you stayed wow. up all night with with the drunk friend. I didn't want him to drive, and I don't and want an unoccupied. A, a, there wasn't even a little, uh, you know. No, we talk. We talk. Well, you can it. talk. You can talk. Yeah. I know so, it would be so a bad no, uh, story if there had been pumping, but there was no <laughs> pumping. No, no, pump, pump, so pump. no pumping occurred in the uh, in the car whatsoever. No, and uh, or outside the car. When when you brought him uh, back uh, to the to the office, that's when uh, your bodyguard, uh, our yeah. friend Joshua Tree, and I said sorry. The rules are nobody right. can come and in, I so he's doing his job. Right. Tree, that's correct because you know we can't have any, uh, you know. And I felt bad. I thought I should go in there because he. Uh, He's getting paid, but I'm mm -hmm. sure he didn't mind not following me around today. All right, so, all so but, what, what we heard was mm -hmm. less exciting, maybe, well, you know, based on, you know, if we believe you or not, <laughs> okay. you just spent the night in the car with your drunk friend because yeah. that's the type of sweet homeless girl you are. Mm -hmm. uh, now, let's, I'm a talk, bitch. let's talk to <laughs> Joshua Tree for a second. Joshua Tree, what is the talk about you? Yeah, now, now, now speaking of activity. Yes, now, so you are, while she's in the car, 
with, right. with the guy allegedly sleeping. You're still in front of the door t to our office in a sleeping bag, and we have pictures of all of this on our website at donamikewebsite.com. So, so you're you're sleeping in front of the office, right? Yeah. Well, I w at first was kind of worried that uh, Lisa was needed something, or maybe I should be, you know, getting her if she needed something. I still had this kind of babysitter mentality about mm -hmm. it. Right. And after a while, when she didn't call to come back inside, I thought I got stood up by a homeless girl. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> so, um, did you know that she was in the car out in the parking I knew lot? She was in the car because the car was there. Did you even check on her? Oh yeah, a couple. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. And he said he had work to do. He's gonna hunt some ghosts. And, um, yeah. Oh God. You know. Where did the where did this <laughs> thing about the, uh, the your companion in the sleeping bag tell tell us how this happened? Yeah, do, do well, tell. Well, you know I'm the promotions uh, coordinator here, and we had an event. Yes, yes, Josh. Doesn't yes, Josh. Anything. Josh Petrie. <laughs> <laughs> and we had an event very early this morning with junkettes, which are like you said, cheerleaders for the junkies. Right. And they were supposed to be at a car wash. And they are notoriously late, and I'm responsible for them and managing their schedules. Right. And when they do bad things, I get in trouble. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I insisted that she do whatever she needs to do to be... Get in your sleeping the... bag? <laughs> you insisted that she get in your sleeping it's bag. I insisted job, that she do whatever she needed to do to be at that event on time this morning. And that meant spending the night with you in the sleeping bag? It was her idea, and I was not going to say no. Wow. Okay, so let me... Uh, how do I put this? What, did you zip the bag up? Uh, no, it was used as a blanket. What did she wear as a blanket? What did she wear when it was time to actually get sleepy? What did uh, what did she uh, slip into for her evening wear? She was barren, uh, like uh, black. She was barren. She was. <laughs> you said barren. I heard you barren. said barren. You know, I don't she know what the hell. Was wearing black stretchy pants and a tank top. Sexy. Wow. And uh, you, of course, were what? Nude? Footy pajamas? I was wearing just my pants and without a shirt. I was just wearing pants and shirt. Hey. Hey. Just, now, hold on. <laughs> hold on a second. So she's got a tank top on. Does she have a bra on? Uh, uh, no, her boobs are so fake you don't need a bra. <laughs> wow. wow. Well, you're scoring oh. some points right so now. A compliment. <laughs> I want to tell you, she's going to be hopping in your sleeping bag again now. Well, wow. These girls so much. We're friends. and so I it's... bet you are. Are they hard? The, what, the boobs? Her boobs. Yeah. Okay. I won't, I won't add it. Thank you, Lisa. Right. Because she let me test them out. Because I had never touched fake boobs Wait, before. Did this happen last night? Did you test you test drove them last night? Morning at the event. I oh, at, at, at the event. Time. Yeah. Wow. You know, why doesn't the station hire us some cheerleaders? We call, call them the Donna Mike. right. The Donna Mike Pumps. <laughs> the Donna I'm serious. Mike. We can get cheerleaders if you want. The Pumpettes. We well, can get cheerleaders. I mean, not every show ought to have cheerleaders. Here's the thing: I don't want, I don't want to sugarcoat it. That's a, the Donna Mike Show whores, the pumps. Not, you're not going to get anyone if you call them the Donna Mike Show whore. Oh, I've just been. Is, it, is this her? Somebody gave me a picture. Yeah, of her. that's her. That was wow. this morning. Those are fake. Yes, they're good. They, they, somebody did a good job. They look nice. Can, can I you, see? You say they rock hard, huh? Well, you can feel when flesh stops and you hit silicone. Yeah. That's the weird part. Where did she have the injections? Underneath or through the nipple? I think they're through her armpits. Wow. Through her armpits. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's fascinating. How hard were they? Uh, as hard as concrete, uh, nerf? It was in like an unripe orange. <laughs> Wow, that's pretty Very hard. Solid, yeah. It's pretty. It was pretty firm. Wow. The once you got like, if you if you if you just, <laughs> seen them too, yeah. But uh, how, how do they look? That's well, the most important thing. Of course, they yeah. look like they're staring at you. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hypnotizing <laughs> you. <right? laughs> this is fascinating. Like, I mean, like, like, and she's got to be real happy wherever she is right now. How you doing, honey? Yeah. No, they're they're phenomenal. They're fantastic. Oh, looking. right. But Sounds like well, it looks like the whole package is pretty no, nice. No, she's incredibly good looking. She's gorgeous. Right. So, so you, she spent the night in your sleeping bag. Nothing happened in the sleeping bag. But then later, when you went to the appearance, and she only came in to sleep so she could make it on time, she let you feel her fake boobs. Right. Today. The conversation. So let's just up. recap here. So. Joshua Tree's uh, having sex in a sleeping bag here in the radio station while uh, Lisa's out having sex with a uh, with a um, a drunk man in the uh, in the car. See what happens when we go home. It's amazing. I mean, what this is just a, a this turns into a brothel. At Sodom night. and Gomorrah. It's amazing. What was that other picture? <laughs> oh, it's it's another picture of the pump. I see. Of the junkie's pump. Is that her too? 
The, the, it's from the ass. It, it's it's yeah, shot that, behind. That's her too. Oh, that yeah. is a pretty fine log splitter right there. You wouldn't know. All right. <laughs> wow. I bet you'd like to touch that, Mike. <laughs> this repel. You're repelled by that. No, it's beautiful. Here's it's the thing. Beautiful. It's a beautiful ass. Mm -hmm. But you know what that is? A hands-free zone. <laughs> hands off. Not a chance. Hands-free zone. Please. <laughs> Not a chance. Give me mittens and maybe. <laughs> yeah. Oven mitts. Right. Catcher's mitt. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like she's wearing one of those uh, bathing suits that you actually tan through. Very oh. sheer. What she's wearing in in this picture where she's at the event this morning? No, now, here. Now, Lisa, let me ask you something. Yes. Are you at all... Even remotely, just just even if it's a nana, I, I, are you are you even just a little jealous, a, a little turned on that that your protector was was spending the night. You've seen the pictures. She's a hot girl, big nice. He says beautiful fake boobs, a little hard, but still they're, they're perfect. He, let, he he got to feel her boobs. Am I jealous of her or jealous of him? <laughs> uh, no, no, not enough of, of him. Are, are Whoa, you... Hold on a second. We tapped into no, something no, no, here. No, no, no. All right, are, oh, do you, no, you man, play on that team? I'm glad somebody got some last night because I was babysitting a drunk boy. Do you, do you, uh, do you occasionally uh, play no. for the other side? No. All right. No. Good for you. All right. Hold, hold on a second. Hello, Don and Mike show. Hello. Hi. Hey. Hey. Just wanted to let you guys know uh, Lisa was off in a job on the junkie show this morning. Oh, were you really offered a job by the junkies today? I have no idea. I didn't talk to them. To, to now, the they, were having a, they were having a problem with their junkettes about this car wash thing they were doing, and they mentioned Lisa being upstairs, and they said they'd go get her. <laughs> you know, uh, it's uh, it's amazing, but I think that uh, if they were having a problem with uh, the junkettes, it's because Joshua Josh. Tree here screwed up. Yeah. Well, exactly. he's sleeping with them. You shouldn't be sleeping like with Josh, them. Josh, I mean, I shouldn't say this to you on the air, but, uh, you know. Actual say, harassment, hey, <laughs> idiot, they. Yeah. I mean, did, well, did you, did you have to call, so? Well, what, um, what, friend? I'm sorry? Right, bye. Bye. Um, bye! See, I tried. When I say friend, that's like the last chance. Right. Sure, you're doing your very, very best. You can do it. He was not idiot proof. You just yeah. winked at me. Again. I did, I did. Sorry. Buzz just gave me, when I said, right. when I say it was friend. annoying wink. That's, and Buzz, Buzz yeah. is like, you know. I know what that means. Right, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> right. Gotcha. Okay, so. Let me see, Lisa. So you are not emotionally attached in any way to Joshua Tree. I mean, even you know, yeah. like just as friends. No, I mean, tonight's he's a nice the, guy. Tonight's the last night. Emotionally mm -hmm. attached? Hell, she drove him into the arms of another woman. <laughs> Pretty clear to me that happened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tonight yeah. is the last night. Is there any chance that there would even? I, I mean, uh, I'd even be like hand holding or petting. Like kissing. Well, everyone else thinks we're lying, and Robert thinks I'm lying, so I'll say, sure. Okay. No one will ever know. What is the plan? Is, has there been any kind of plan? Have you two kids talked about the plan no, for this we evening? No, haven't. I haven't even been in, been back in here. I haven't talked to them. There's lasagna. Been... Jo Joshua, what do you have planned uh, for... Well, not that you have to have anything planned. You're the protector, but well, what would you like tonight for you and Lisa? Um, I was just thinking some TV, and I didn't sleep at all last night. I didn't sleep at all last <laughs> night. Bow, 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 bow. Can't imagine why. Well, I didn't either, so. So, really, I mean, you two both do look exhausted. You really do. So I don't think it's going to be a, a crazy night tonight. Is that accurate? I feel like I'm drunk right now because I haven't slept. <laughs> Welcome to my world, Joshua. 24-7, <laughs> my friend. All the time. But I'd have to say last night, if we're going to say who had the best time, I'd say Joshua had the best time. Without, I mean, my God. That is if, if you take Lisa at her word. That I, that she was not, you know, out, you know, riding the baloney pony out there. Will anybody in a else on Centra? <laughs> will, uh, will anybody else be joining you tonight? I don't. Joshua. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Mike Sprouse. <laughs> Mike Sprouse. The left, overnight board out. He's the overnight board out. Left out of the call screen room and scared the crap out of me. Oh, so he did it like to to he, just to scare you? He knew I was hunting for ghosts and tried to scare. Oh, me. how's yeah. that going? Oh, yeah. That didn't work out so well. Did you hear anything? Well, how would you even be able to? You didn't hear the marching soldiers as you were you know, <laughs> rubbing up against. As you were frotturing the. Uh, the legs, he had one. He had one big <laughs> fake boob over each ear. Her boobs were like earmuffs. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't hear a damn thing. Big hard earmuffs. She's probably just going. Uh, John, what is that sound? I hear like Confederate soldiers marching. He says, No, no, no. Just hold me closer. <laughs> hold me closer, mommy. <laughs> Mommy, well, Lisa, are you excited that tomorrow uh, you you start on the rest of your life? Yes. Okay. Yes. And the job situation, will you have an answer tomorrow or? Um, I talked to the guy today, and he said um, he would talk to me tomorrow. So I don't know what that means. Is this the uh, dis distribution, the beer distribution no, guy? No, this was the, just the old 
old Home Depot. The homeless right? Depot. Homeless Depot, right, yes. Which is kind of your ace in the hole, right? Yeah. So to speak. And, and I need to uh, talk to my my newly rediscovered friends about the other possabilities. Okay. But it sounds like something's things are going to get better. Yeah, I now, would you hang out? She, I remember when Amy called, your friend Amy mm -hmm. that came in from West Virginia, yes. they kind of said that you could hang out at their place. Yes. Is, is that what you're going to do? Possibly. I, I, wasn't, I wasn't aware until they got here that they lived that far away. Uh, so mm -hmm. I, you know, I have... You know, twelve dollars and <laughs> okay, you know, no gas, gas, gas would be like, so sure, sure, I understand. Maybe at some point, but not right away. Okay. So. Well, maybe we could uh, maybe we could uh, bust a vein into one of those girls' fake boobs. Mm -hmm. and get and get some uh, get like, some, like to, to operate the vehicle. Get some fossil fuel out of there. I think that really would only be if they were low on oil. That would probably work better as a lubricant oh, than an actual fuel. Some ethanol. <laughs> <laughs> those those very popular new design ethanol boob boob enhancements. <laughs> the fake ethanol boobs. <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, the humanity. Hold on. Oh, my me, God. Let me see. We have, uh, oh, I think, look at that. Joe screened this. It's another friend of yours. Do you know someone named Elizabeth? That would be me. Hi, Elizabeth. Oh. Don and Mike show. Hi there. Hi. Hi. Hi you're on the air. <laughs> hi. Hi, Liz. I told you I'd call. Hi. Hi. Oh, Elizabeth lives in Boston. She lives mm -hmm. online. So she yes, lives. but I am from Northern Virginia, so, so I've been to you guys a long time, and I was just... I was just wondering, huh? Yeah, hold on one second, Elizabeth. On. If you're a friend from Boston, we appreciate the fact that you're obviously listening on the Internet. That's great. You hear, Lisa. Did you know she was homeless before she was on the show? Yes, I did. Oh. We've actually been in touch for about five years now. So I've been listening to the whole ordeal. And I actually talked to her yesterday on the phone. So. All right. So uh, how's, uh, are you uh, going to be involved in her life at all, uh, Elizabeth? <laughs> Well, I'm going to try to support that baby we had, you know, but there's not much I can do. <laughs> All right. You know what that means? That means <laughs> N.O. She doesn't care. <laughs> no. Not a real friend there, Lisa. She's called to get her voice on the radio. Not a true friend. Hello, Don and Mike show. Hello. Hey, Don. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Uh, enjoy your show a lot. I'm um, calling from Lafayette, Louisiana. We appreciate it. Thank you, my friend. Yeah, uh, Joe is retarded. He hung up on me a few times. Uh-oh. Oh, well. Joe. All right, bye-bye. I'll blame that one on Joe. <laughs> All right, Lisa and Joshua Tree. Tonight, the last big night, sleeping in the office. Uh, Joshua, good luck to you. Thank you. If you're going to be alone tonight, Joshua, I, for one, and I know Buzz feels the same way, we, we'd really like to have you step up the ghost hunt. I'd really know. I'd like to know what's going on in here. Okay. All right. I'm going to be on it all night. Great. And also, <laughs> he'll be on it all He's night. He's well rested, ready to go. And also, I hope that, you know, you're like Valley in a Spray, that tonight, you know, you really cater to whatever Lisa's needs are. So last night here. It's a bon voyage. <laughs> You know, and I mean nothing <laughs> sexual by this, but right. have you thought about it? He's so goddamn goofy, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he really is. It's a bon voyage. <laughs> it's a bon voyage. <laughs> Picture him in a Hawaiian shirt, tiki torches. You know? <laughs> have, you bon thought of, have you thought of like a uh, a foot massage? Would you like a foot massage? No. no I, feet are gross. People touching my feet will add him. Hey. Oh, I'm with you there. All right. Where are you on the butt? I'm with I'm with there John you, all the way on the. There you go. Wow. Head. You and the homeless. Exit only. Stay yeah. off. You could only what? What? <laughs> stay stop. Everybody, yeah, you, we're all like, like dogs that heard a high-pitched whistle. I like could that. only stay off. No, I said stay off. Exit only. Stay oh, off the oh, butt. Stay off. Yeah. Stay off the butt. Okay, He's with you. Okay. Stay off the butt. Oh, okay. Well, there they go. Yeah. There they go. And Mike is still looking at the picture of the girl with the rock-hard boobs. Not a chance, okay. Lisa. Uh, bye, Lisa. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Bye, bye honey. Have a bye, good kid. night, guys. <laughs> and uh, once again. Really. <laughs> we have a problem with us. <laughs> Look at his picture on our website. He looks like a slightly more retarded <laughs> swimmer. I mean, really. He, does. he is. Who was the guy that was swimmer? It was um, uh, yeah, David Ross. Swimmer. David, David Swimmer. Ross. 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 That's right. what it was. Oh yeah. Now you're for, I, for some reason I knew that, that that was his name on the show. His character's name. Yeah. Right. Swimmer. No, no, swimmer. I called him Swimmer, even mm -hmm. though his name on it was Ross. Ross right. Ross. Ross and Rachel. Ross Geller. All right, thank you. Well, what we have tonight is the final night. It sounds like they're going to try to have a little fun. It's yeah. going to be mellow, of course, until Robert starts pounding on the window. All right, well, let's give uh, let's give them the digital camera tonight. Okay. And let's get some last night photos so yeah. we can have them up on the website tomorrow. Thanks, and uh, there they go. There's there's Lisa and there's, uh, what's his name, Joshua Tree. Joshua Tree. And, uh, oh, Gary Shandling. Uh, the great Gary Sh yeah. Shandling ha has exactly five minutes in his schedule. Mm -hmm. So I, it's like, what, straight up at 5 o'clock? Yeah. We're supposed to talk? 
Yeah. You know, we ought to do this time because he's got five minutes. We really ought to just, like, look at the clock so we get to say goodbye first. You know how we do that occasionally? We get some of those time limits. It's always so embarrassing when they say, hey, listen, uh, i gotta, I got to run. <laughs> I always hate that. But we gotta, we Start gotta, show. we we got we to gotta break first. Right. And we'll come back and do something and then figure out if we can get him on before we got to break again. I know, commercials. Break again, break again, oh, break again. again. Free FM, that's the price of freedom. Mm -hmm. That's the price of freedom. That's right. Freedom's just another word for nothing left to lose. Free Free at last. Free at last. Yeah, how are you doing? <laughs> I don't know why his name came up into my head. I don't know. <laughs> you know why? Because he went out there yesterday to like check on her. Uh, how are you? Hey, hey. How are you doing? Listen, how's the car doing? Are you going to be in the office tonight? You know, uh, that's uh, Michael Mayer's office, too. I'm his boss. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got a break. When we come back. Oh, I know what we're doing when we come back. Yeah, like Ken. Oh, boy. Oh, Hi. boy, do I know. Hi. Listen, there's a big one for us. Maybe you've seen on the TV down in Florida. That lady, she had the alligator. Yeah. Come, yes. in, come into the house. Mm -hmm. Scary. Crazy. Scary. Gator's they, scary. They, they had to pull out the gun. Right. Shoot the gator. Ooh. We gotta talk to her. Good. Oh. I'd run. I'd say good shoes. Yeah, rough skin. Good polo shirt. Teeth. Alligator. Izod. Right. Yeah, that's the symbol. I like the Izod. They still sell them, don't they? The Izod? We're doing it before we talk to her, you know. <laughs> you have to stop. <laughs> yeah. It's a disease. It's very, very difficult to stop. We're joined by Michael Mara, <laughs> who cried like a fag last night with Elliot Yamin got voted off American Idol. Mike? Yeah. <laughs> Why you care? I don't know. It's the lady's head on a stick. <laughs> it got me right here. These suspenders. Uh, they're just black. They're just black. They're just black. Why you care? We'll be back. Number 15 Arbitron rated the Don and Mike Show. Don and Mike. Pre I just noticed something that in one of your interviews with John Candy, I believe, it looked like an older interview, you had less hair than you have today. How do you explain that? I uh, don't wear a wig, sir. Paint your bald spot? What bald spot? You paint your bald spot? I don't know what you're talking about, sir. My hair grows. Do you paint your bald spot? I don't have a bald spot. Well, how come you had less hair on the tape? Maybe my hair grew. Maybe I had a bad haircut that day. Do you By the way, something. What do you care? Paint your bald spot? I don't. Do you paint your bald spot? I paint your bald spot? You sick. The Don and Mike Show. You can call Don and Mike anytime from anywhere in America. 877-365-3636. They're ready to believe you. You know, they're quite willing to kill off nature, you know, for a cheap buck, and then, you know, and then just point the finger at somebody else for why the job disappeared. Hello? Larry? Actually, Larry. I'm sorry. Don't want to rephrase that. Quite listenable. The Don and Mike Show. Right, right. Just ahead of uh, some Larry King fun. Buzz? Yes? Got to ask you something, friend. Okay. What's your beef? <laughs> uh, I'm not that crazy about the homeless lady. <laughs> now, this is what I uh, heard during the commercials. That you're putting it lightly. Why don't you like Lisa, the homeless girl? Because Buzz, you know. like you like everybody. Uh, yeah, uh, to a fault. In fact, if, if you probably had any criticism of me, it's that I like too many people. But I could. But I, I'm not discriminating in that way. <laughs> but you know how a character joins a movie or a TV show or a, especially soap operas, and the, their first day you see him, you, this this person, this guy, this woman, they're trouble. <laughs> they're just trouble. And and I just I got that sense from Lisa the day she arrived here and it was just more firmed up today I think. I was talking to you out uh, outside during the, the the commercials and I have known you I, I don't know how many years I've known you but like I've, 14 uh, 14 years, years. Yeah. and and I have never ever heard uh, you, 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 this lady has has somehow you, you called struck her a, a chord with you. It you struck know? a nerve. Did you, call her, did you call her a bitch? I believe I did use that word. <laughs> but you actually were giving some reasons. I, you know? Yeah, I mean, I, I see evidence stacking up. Now, <laughs> just because a person's family doesn't want to have anything to do with them, that doesn't mean anything in and of itself, because that happens, and, and sometimes, you know, it just happens. Okay. And, and that doesn't indict the person. <laughs> but when you add to that the fact that, uh, like her best friend, she can't stay at her best friend's house, because his roommate uh, hates her. 
<laughs> well, why does he hate her? Well, um, uh, maybe it's the same reason as her family. What? And the woman who called from Boston. Uh, she called to say hi, but she didn't want to pursue it. <laughs> There's a, I see a pattern. Around, and she's dissed a couple of my friends. I think she's sort of disrespected uh, Robert, the mailman, and I think uh, she's even uh, disrespected Joshua Tree, especially yesterday, if you go back to yesterday's show. There's <laughs> wow. Just, there's wow. something there well, that I'm not you. comfortable with. I told you about this. This was I got this a little taste of what we got outside. And you called her a bitch. <laughs> I, I did use that word, yes, if, okay. to be honest, yes. <laughs> okay, well then uh, tomorrow, uh, tune in. <laughs> <laughs> Showdown. Cage match. <laughs> Cage match. There you go. Buzz. Well, and and maybe through this, uh, through Buzz, we could perhaps get some questions answered. And I uh, think we you know, deserve some answers. I think you're right. Mm -hmm. I, I think we we could get some answers out of Young Lisa. You know, I, I wouldn't doubt that there are holes in the story. Uh -huh. I, I mean, not that she's lying about anything, but you know, uh, Buzz. Yeah, and I feel so bad saying this coming from me, but. You know, why so harsh? <laughs> I, I don't know. I, it, I'm the first to admit that this is unusual. No, Rob, I don't think he's smoking. Yeah, Rob thinks it's always weed. It's bad weed. <laughs> bad, bad weed. Bad weed. It would oh, mellow him out. Not own. bad weed. Bad weed makes him say the word bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Buzz, you, you chew on that for a second. I will. Lisa, if you're listening up in your car, you chew on that for a second. Sure. Uh, and while we wait for Gary Shandling, which is supposed to be straight up 5 o'clock. East Coast time. And give me like that. Where's that cheap bunt? Or not that before we played the uh, tape of Regis? Oh, uh, yeah, we got a new, a new great Regis tape again. Good. Every day this old man says something on his show. We won't play it now. But today, in essence, what he says is um, they go to the house frau on the phone mm -hmm. you know, for the trivia thing. And he says, what do you do? And she says, I'm a stay-at-home stay at mom. Right. And Regis turns to Kelly and says, see now, she does what you should do. <laughs> right. She stays home. She nurtures. She fondles her children. Mm, <laughs> That's really? what he said. He didn't and, know what he was saying. And there is a moment of awkward silence. <laughs> sure. And, and Kelly Ripa looks like she's about to die, <laughs> about to pee. And all of a sudden, they don't say anything. Just that big wheel comes down. <laughs> and they to cover his mistake. <laughs> and, they, and they play all the music. Right. And there's nothing. There's no sound while you hear the, the, you know, the music in the background. So they come back, and she says, well, I know who's not going to be babysitting anytime soon. And then finally... Regis realizes what he says, mm -hmm. and, and he says, Yeah, that's right. Hey, come here, little boy. <laughs> Which he yeah. just does not go over. Which is inappropriate, too, for Regis's audience. Does not go over. Oh, that's funny. We've got that tape, and uh, oh, also a great tape for you that I hope we have time to get to today. Bill Cosby. Uh, boy, I love it when he screams at college kids. Is he getting mad again? He's pissed off. He's so pissed off. And uh, our friend uh, Chris Hansen. A really, it's too bad the Dateline's Predator show is on against American Idol's finale because last night I hope you voted if, if you watched American Idol. Yeah, I watched a little of it last night. Did you night watch too. the Naked Guy? I saw the Naked Guy. My yeah, God, pretty amazing. And so we got those tapes as well. But uh, Feist, it's amazing you know, how they don't run immediately. I always th that always blows my mind. You know, hey, he'll come through the door and you see the guy. Hey, hang around. Can you sit over here, please? Uh -huh. <laughs> Naked guy. Just, yeah, okay. Here's, <laughs> here's our story now. Uh, aggressive alligator shot. After barging into a woman's home, I know you've heard this, uh, that she's got a doggy door. I'm sure you've seen this on the Today Show or whatever in your local news. she got a doggy door, and the alligator came into her house, and uh, she got her pistol. She lives in Florida, so like everyone, she has a gun with her at all times. And uh, she shot it four times. Killed it dead. From Washington, D.C., it's the Larry King Show. The ticket back didn't kill it dead. They let it go. Wounded it. Winged it. The Larry King Show features interviews with interesting guests from around the world. That doesn't really matter, though. Phone calls from across North America. It's a presentation of the Mutual <laughs> Broadcasting System. And now, the host of the program, here's Larry. Hi. Hi, we're, we're talking gators. How you doing? Uh, How you doing, brother? Hi, Lay. How you, Lay? I'm fine. How you doing today? Buzz Boybank says Lisa's a bitch. Anger. You got a lot of uh, pent up. You got the pent up anger, Buzz? Apparent, apparently, I do. Sure. Is that a silk shirt? No, no, cotton. You like cotton or silk? You talking to me? Sure. I like polyester. Yeah, polyester's good. <laughs> Feels good against the skin. Also, the name of those two chicks that we met yeah. down the Bronx. So one was named Polly. The one, one was, was Esther. Esther. Oh, he went out yeah. with Polly. I went out with Esther. The rest is history. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rob, call her up. Okay. Sure. We're going to call a lady who uh, had a gator come to her house. Yeah. Hi, folks. Lay King. And this is Lay King. 
Uh, tonight on Lay King Live, sure. Aggressive Gator. We're talking about Aggressive Gators, and of course, we'll talk to Rick Shooting. Rickles. Don Rickles later on. Shooting. And, uh. Sure. Did she shoot it? Liz Taylor. Ouch. Out of the hospital. That's tomorrow on Larry King Live. Don't forget, Anderson Cooper uh, follows this show. The amazing Paul Anka on Larry King Weekend. Candy. Now let's go live to Bradenton, Florida. Here's Candy Fry. Candy, you had a, an alligator crawl into your house? Uh, he was on the lanai on the back porch. Lanai. Wow. What's, what's a lanai? Um, it's like a screened-in enclosure where you're pulling your... Picnic table. Is that to keep? Uh, let me see. Hold on. Don't, don't tell me. I but that's. Is that to keep the bugs out? Yeah, it's to keep the bugs out. It's like out. Hawaiian, right? Is it lanai? Is that a Hawaiian word? I think so. Yeah, it's uh, lanai. Is, uh, it's hot in Florida, right? Oh, well, sometimes it is. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. I think it's hotter up north than it is in Florida. Ah. You know what I like about during Florida? the summer. I like about Florida. Yeah, I like lately it's been pretty hot mm. down here. No tax. No tax, no tax. Let me tell you what I like about Florida. Fresh squeezed juices. That's good too. <laughs> yeah, that's good stuff. You like fresh you like the fresh squeezed of the store bought. Uh I like the chopped can of pure pre. Oh, you like the store. Speaking of juice. The store bought. Speaking of juice, here's a question for you. Sure. I folks. Like <laughs> this is like King. Uh, here's a question. So you got the alligator, sneaks into the doggy door. What if it was O. J. Simpson? What if it was juice? Would you would you have shot OJ four times with your pistol? If he comes to my house. If he came to your house. He came to your house. How come it didn't die after you shot it? I think that alligators must be really tough species. I sure, mean, well, around they got the tough years. skin, right? Tough skin on did a it look, Did it look like Joan Rivers? <laughs> She'll be guest hosting along with Ryan Seacrest on the show. Uh, and look, she's got that leathery, <laughs> the leathery skin. Leathery skin. Leathery How skin. big was your gator, Candy? Excuse me? How big was your gator? He was around three feet, maybe a little bit bigger, you know. Alligator or crocodile, what's the difference? Go! Uh, alligators have a square snout, and crocodiles have the long, skinny snouts, right? I don't get it. And Do you ever eat frog's legs? Candy? You ever have frog's legs? Yeah, they taste like chicken, or did the frog come first so the chicken tastes like I was at frog. Joe's Stone Crab in Miami and had alligator bites. How do you like I those? I haven't had any alligator bites. Yummy. I'll tell you what Spicy. I like. I like chicken McNuggets. Oh, that's good stuff, boy. I found one. found one recently that was shrimp like the state of Louisiana. Did you keep it or eat it? I said to Sean. The gator? I said to I said, wildlife. I got to I gotta eat this. put them back in the pond. So anyways, let's take a picture. Also, one time, I found a hair. I found a hair. In your nugget? I had my food. Food or your nuggets? In my nuggets. Okay. And I was going to go back up to the counter and talk to the lady. And then Sean said to me, hey, 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 Grandpa. Said, That's my wife. I said, you know what? And she said, Ed, that hair came out of your nose. One of your, one of your nose hairs fell out. Candy? Yes? An alligator bit the hand off uh, Captain Hook and Peter Pan, right? Yes. Yeah, what about that? That was a cartoon, though. Which would make believe. Which would hurt more? Make if, believe. If you were an if you're an alligator and you're shot, would that hurt as much as for a human being having someone pull out some of your nose hairs? Boy, that's a toss up. I don't know. Oh, no, I'll tell you I'm a funny cartoon. Wow. A funny cartoon is Wally Gator. Wally Gator, great cartoon, funny, I'm laughing. And how about Steve Spurrier, former coach of the Florida Gators? That's where she's from. Right? Are you a fan of Steve Spurrier? I'm a fan of the Florida Gators. My daughter's going to go to school here in August. You know what I love about the Florida Gators? I'll tell you something about them. One of them. Good team. Good football team. You know, they, uh, are they the ones that were shoplifting at Dillard's? Dillard's is a wonderful store to go shoplifting sure. at. Sure. Or was that at the U? I don't like shoplifters. Very bad. I say in... You know, we, what we got to do is... We, 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 first off, we got to close the borders. Sure. Don't you agree, Candy? Yeah. we got to close the borders. we got we got to shut down the borders. You think we got to shut down the borders? Wally Gator. So. Wally Gator. There's a lot of, uh, I think it'd make our income tax cheaper. Sure. But if Wally, it paid income Wally tax. Wally Gator, this guy, I remember, Wally Gator, he's a character. He wore a hat. Uh, did your Gator have a, a hat and a necktie? No, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> he did That's the cartoon, just like Peter Pan. Was he uh, the Gator? <laughs> gator skin. Is it slimy or is it sticky or dry? Uh, it looks leathery. Well, you didn't touch I it? I'm a too. Did you, did you touch the gator after you shot it? No. 
You know, I can never figure out how to tie a tie. He was still alive when the sheriff came out. He, That's why I wear clip-ons. Clip-on yeah. ties, good. Do you like clip-on ties? No, I what like about, the traditional ones. What about a nice combination of clip-on ties, suspenders? Would that do it for you, Candy? No. Tell me something. What kind of gun do you own? That turns me on. Uh, H&K 40 caliber. H&K is a Helen and Keller? Do you shoot your own food, Candy? No, I don't. The you first know, animal I shot. You know, Gatorade. Why do they call it that? Go. Because the Florida Gator, you, uni, University of Florida invented it. Wrong. Wrong. I'm sorry. Team. Wrong. I think we all know what they do. They take alligators and they smush them up. Yep. And what you do is you squeeze them. Much like, much like the wash rag that I've got back in the men's room here. We're talking with Candy Fry, Anderson Cooper 360 coming up on the hour. Candy, uh, Gatorade good. Golf, good sport, right? Golf is a great sport. Sure. Red Bull. What's the deal with Red Bull? Makes me jumpy. What say you? Is that like Gatorade? No. You know, I always wish that they would have brought back a new Coke. Because for me... You like the flavor? For me, Coca-Cola Zero might as well be Diet Coke. But Same animal. New Coke. Big difference? I like them both. What about you, Candy? And are you named after a candy? If you were, I, I would... I read the book Candy Cane the night before. Oh, I'm don't born. get me started on candy. <laughs> I would I would name you Biddo Honey. Biddo Honey, your favorite. I'm a payday guy. And <laughs> Candy Cane, also a great exotic dancer's name. Candy Hi. Fry, any candy in the world, you're on a desert island, go. No. Candy oh. Fry, how's Amber? How's she holding up? I don't know, Amber. Scott, Scott Peterson will be our guest later tonight. Yeah, Snickers bars, overrated. Okay, yeah, I agree with that one. Sure, what's your favorite candy? Go. Uh, I like Dove chocolate. What? Dove chocolate. Did the gator? Did the gator go oopsie in your house? No, he didn't. The gator did not lose control of his <laughs> bladder bowels. No, I got. I'm, I'm. I'm. I'm curious. So indulge me for a minute. I'm curious too. Can you candy a yam? Candy? Can uh, you? Can you candy a yam? I can make candy, yeah. There you go. Now That's we're right. talking there, boy. So when you shot that thing, what was that like? Was that a rush? You feel good? I candy, how about an egg cream? No egg, no cream. What do you think? Like playing a video game? Was it like you shot You shot the alligator? My God, who'd you imagine it was? Did you imagine it was Saddam Hussein? No, I didn't. Did that, that didn't go through my head. Guns are loud, right, Candy? Make a big boom? Yes, they are. Sure. Does it hurt your ears? You got to wear plugs? When you go out to the rifle range. Do you have any time to get your earplugs? No, I didn't. What's that famous bumper sticker? Oh, I know what it is. If you can read this, you're following too close. Sure. I like that. You know what else I like? My child is an honest student. I like that. I'm partial to Yosemite Sam. I like the one that says, My, my child beat up your honor student. <laughs> Well, that's horrible. That, that's not funny. I don't understand. People that's, joke about that, kids. Kids that, hitting kids. That's not funny. For Thanksgiving, I think ham is a mistake. Quick. It is. Who's better, Smith or Weston? Go! They're both the same thing. Wrong. Smith had the cough drop. Weston has the oil. Clint Eastwood. Yeah. He's the man's man. Dirty Harry. You I like Plains Drifter. You like, you like Dirty Harry? <laughs> He was all right, yeah. Why does he take his shirt off so much in the movies? Don't don't people know that we don't want to see old men look like me? Skinny, scrawny. Taking their shirts off in the movies. My shoulder blades actually touch. <laughs> I went to see a great movie over the weekend. What did you see? Stop Lindsay Lohan. She's, she's fantastic. She's so talented. That's a superstar. If Lindsay Lohan's on screen, I'm, I'm watching. watching. Do you like crackers? I find them salty. Real salty. But you put stuff on them. Do you put stuff on your crackers, Candy? No. You don't? You eat them dry? I don't eat crackers. You don't eat crackers. Lindsay Lohan, the movie Just My Luck. If you don't eat crackers, how about chips? No, I don't eat chips either. Whoa. You know, people who eat crackers in bed have crummy children. <laughs> now I'm laughing. And that was a good one. That's a good joke. Confucius saying. I know a couple of those, but man, can't put man, them on. Man who eat jelly beans who fought in Technicolor. <laughs> 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 We're having fun now there, boy. Did the alligator fight? 
What, what's an alligator fart smell like? Yeah, what did it smell like? Is there anything like a human fart? I didn't smell any. You got an RV? Um, yes, I do. <laughs> RV with Robin Williams. Now that is a tour de force. That man is a genius. He, of course, was Jacob the liar. <laughs> and Mrs. Doubtfire. What a talent he is. In RV, you seen the movie Candy? Not yet. Oh, it's good. Real funny. Hangs from the I front like of the Robin car. Williams. He hangs fun. from the uh, windshield wipers. Just, just, just hysterical. Are you, are you sad that Elliot Ephraim got voted off American Idol? Uh, I thought he was better than the girl. Who's uh, your think... favorite idol, Candy? Go. I think Taylor. Taylor Hicks. Taylor. Yeah. What about Taylor Dane? Whatever happened to Taylor Dane? James that... Taylor. And what about our Taylor? Bailey Banks and Biddle? Oh, sure. Brooks, Brooks Brothers? Bailey Banks and Biddle, that's an expensive store. It's a jewelry store, right? Jewelry store, yes. Jewelry store, yes. Yeah. Marcia Solar. You know, it's a jewelry. You they like, don't serve breakfast. You like jewelry? <laughs> you like jewelry? I, think, I, I don't like a lot of jewelry. You like, you like jewelry? Breakfast is the most important... I don't wear a lot of it. Huh? I don't wear a lot of it. Breakfast, the most important meal of the day. Go, Candy! It is. Why? Because it, it uh, gets you going in your brain thinking. If you couldn't have your breakfast, would you shoot it? <laughs> it depends where I was. You know, right it, now in my it, house, I'm it, not going to. If your eggs, yeah. if, if your eggs over easy, got up off the table, and ran out the doggy door, would you shoot him four times with your pistol? No. You wouldn't. You like Gary Shandling? You ever like, you ever heard of Gary Shandling? He's a funny man. He was on Carson. Killed on Carson. You ever watch Larry Sanders' show? Um, occasionally. He's a very big man. He's our next guest. We must move on. Yeah, okay. time to go. Besides, we're getting prickly heat. Thank you for the for the laugh. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Thanks, Candy. Good luck. We hope you don't see any more yeah, alligators. Pleasure. Pleasure I hope so, big, too. Uh, sure. Alligator Alley. Very nice. Have a great, uh, great night. Thanks for all the info. How do you feel about the speed limit in Florida being raised to 90? Bye. I'm for that. I'm, I'm all for that. And Will and Grace going off tonight. I never knew which one of them was gay. Was it Will or Grace? I think it was Grace. Is Grace a boy's name or a girl's name? Well, it doesn't matter if he's gay. Brett Favre is a man. Go! She's gone. She uh, hung up. I believe. No, I'm oh. still here. Oh. Oh. Oh, we're going to put you on with our... Thank anymore. you, Candy. We're going to put you on with our producer. We're going to see what happens. You find Brett Favre to be a man. Okay. You find Brett Favre to be a man. Do you find it to be a man or a boy? A, a boy in a man's field? I think he's a man. He's a man. There you go. Yeah. You ever think about him that way? Boy, man. I do. No, I, do. I don't think about him. Go in the locker room? No. And have a towel against his tight No, products. I think he's a good football player, and that's all I think about him. Yeah. A I'm good married. player. What about Wisconsin? They talk funny. They do, but anywhere you go, everyone thinks that you talk It's been great stuff. having you on the show. Candy Fry, thanks thank so much you. for coming. Thank All you. right, thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Live from Washington, D.C., it's the Larry King Show. Okay, well, that was uh, something we certainly could have gone on and on and on with. <laughs> she hung in there, didn't she? She did. Enjoy she yourself. did a fine job. Oh, damn, she loved the jokes. Wow. <laughs> Normally at this point, Rob would be calling back to say, how do you think it went? Right. But, but Rob nervously slipped me a note saying, Gary Shandling in two minutes. Eee. That was roughly three minutes ago. Shandling's people called. Why is it always like this? Whenever we... It's we, awkward, isn't we, it? We never get anybody of note. Mm -hmm. and, and this is a guy who really we could give a prostate exam to on oh, the air. We're yeah. such fans of Gary right. Shandling. And it's going to be one of those things... Just where, have, trying to have a little fun, folks. You know, they're going to say, he's, he, he's only got three minutes. I mean, right, and then you know what's going to happen. I'm going to get mad. I'm going to say, well, screw it. And go to break, and then he'll call. No, don't say that. No. Don't say that, because, you know, then later in the show, gosh, you wouldn't be able to have a tantrum because all the commercials weren't being played. <laughs> now it's okay to sit, just wasting time. That, now it's okay. But wait until it gets late in the show until the commercials have to get played. That's when I start getting this from Rob. Come on, hurry up. Tapping That's the sound of him tapping on the clock. Like, I can't see without that without that big Fred Flintstone hand, that four-fingered hand coming in. And, and that, you know, I include the thumb there. That's, there's yeah. no, there's, yeah, that's just, just like, like Fred Flintstone. Just okay. remember, if you laughed at it, I probably wrote it. <laughs> I'm Rob Spielag. Buy with confidence. How's your credit? <laughs> okay, Rob, give me the ticky-tock. You got it. You know, I hate to do this to Gary Shandling. But frankly, I, you know, as always, I don't believe you can pull a real guest anyway. Mm -hmm. So here we go. It's... 60 seconds now, because uh -huh. Gary Shandling's...
window was from 5 until 5.05. Right. And Rob made it. He just he impressed upon me. Mm -hmm. We got to be on time. We got to stop down. You love Gary Shandling. Mike right. loves Gary Shandling. Well, well, and we all scream for ice cream. We've only, according to his publicist, he only would have now two minutes and and ten seconds to talk to us. Look at him. He's nervous on his cell now. Look at him leave the room. Making an important call. He's leaving the room. We'll find out soon. Checking to see if Gary's on schedule. <laughs> He's so funny. You know, meanwhile, all this time, we could have kept the, the Larry King lady on the phone. We could have done it. Okay. And, Robbie? The number didn't go through to him. Don and Mike to break. Hold on. He's still got... Oh. Well, now, now we actually have 90 seconds. Well, this is awkward. Oh, we could talk about why you think Lisa's such a bitch. Why? Well, I thought we covered that. I thought we were doing Pretty that well. tomorrow. But joined by Buzz Boybank. <laughs> Buzz seems to love everybody except the sitting homeless lady. I don't know why. Why? They're just black. She, 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 she shun you advanced? No. I call it a vibe, call it a hunch. I don't Did know what she it is. you know you are visually impressing her as you do everybody, Buzz? No, no, I really haven't had very little contact Does with her. Does she know you're the predator type? I've basically heard what the listeners have heard. We're talking with Buzz Boybank. <laughs> Buzz? Let me ask you a question about yes, guy, Larry. the guy you work with. All right. Your friend. Uh -huh. Your friend Don. All right. Don and Mike. Yeah, what about him? Why do you think he'd hire such a horse's ass like Rob to be the producer? <laughs> well, because I think Rob... Why do you think he, why do you think he listens to him? Uh, when he, he uses him, and I think he trusts him and wanted him to be close in that way. Why, why do you think Don believes him, though, when he says, we got Gary Shirley, but you got to break it far. Well, you, you got to believe. you got to make it happen. you, you got to believe. you got to trust. Usual, you don't get nothing. Right. You know? You know what I feel like? What? I know. I feel like the telephone that Rob was trying to buy at Circuit City. Oh, abandoned. The credit card not going through. Gary Shandling is the visa card being mm -hmm. declined mm -hmm. right now. And you're the phone staying at the store, waiting. <laughs> Hello, Don and Mike Show. You know, why, you know, why should I even... You know, that's why I didn't like write any notes about anything that I would want to ask him. Right. Because you really, didn't want to be disappointed. It was like an eighty percent shot that really I thought you didn't eh, want to build up your hopes. It wasn't going to happen anyway. Sure. You know, I said to Rob today, I'm not even going to write notes because I could ask him about the show where he drove around in his golf cart. Right. It's and, Gary Shandling's show. Yeah, no, yes. And then there was, of course, Larry Sanders and right. all of his great movie roles. Mm -hmm. And when he killed on Carson, I said, I don't, I don't need a primer. Mm -hmm. Five minutes, I'll be climbing up his bung. He'll say, Let me out of here. And now the moment's gone. Hello, Don and Mike show. Hello, turn your radio down unless you're Gary Shandling. Oh, or just hang on. For goodness sakes. Hello, Don and Mike show. Hey, Don and Mike. Hi. Hi. Hey, I, look, I have a question for Buzz, but I also need input from, uh, from both uh, you, Don, and Mike. Yes. Yeah, sorry, I don't go that way. But go ahead. Uh, all right. Hey, Buzz. Yes. In, in your lifetime, how many times have you ever called a woman a bitch. I do not see that in you. Yeah, well, and mostly that's true. I would say uh, you, you could count them on one hand, and probably just four fingers. Oh, but he's crazy about the C Does word. that include a thumb? He cannot see He throws around the C word constantly. See this and see that. <laughs> Actually, not true. But I do use it today, I think. <laughs> God, but, but, Hold on. So, you, I, I know. It's out of, I know. You, I, you know I, what? I'm the first to admit. I'm, it's out of character. Did you use the C-bomb today? Oh, they didn't tell you? Sure. Yeah. No, I did. did outside. Actually. I forgot to tell you that. I, just did. in my emotional uh, Are speaking. Are you kidding? You called her a C? I was, it was in my emotional oratory. I think perhaps it slipped out. Okay. All right. Goodbye, sir. Hold on one second. I know. It's hard. I'm as stunned as anybody. Give me a second. It, it isn't like me. Rob, I've officially given up on Gary Shandling. And I'd be ashamed if I didn't somehow, on some level, he believe won't let it. Us down. Never. He didn't let us down. You did. <laughs> you did. He's the big star. You're the producer. Now we got to try to. Uh, Hello. Homeless Lisa. Hi, Don. Yes, hi. Don and Mike. Turn your radio down, please. I am. It's down. So, how you doing, bitch? Yeah. How you doing, C-word? You guys have to duke it out later. This is not not me oh, talking, not Mike talking. It's it's kindly old Buzz. Yes. Hi, Lisa. Hello, Buzz. Hi. Hi. How are you? Are you a bitch? I don't think I am, but Buzz does and Robert does. So perhaps I am. Well, it's just the, the, the opinions of two men. 
could mean nothing in the overall scheme of things. Don't give up too easy. Oh, I'm not giving up. I mean, I was talking to Lisa. Oh. <laughs> well, I, you know, people are entitled to have their opinion and uh, whatever vibe he got oh, off me. Well, you know, listen. sometimes people just don't like people and they don't even know why. I so. could be wrong. Well, wait, what would you? What, what is your first thought about Buzz? I mean, if you were going to have an, an angry thought about Buzz, what would it be about Buzz? I don't have any angry. Oh, come on. you got to work something up. Now, he's called you a bitch and called you the C word. What would you call him? Um, uh, <laughs> a big old pothead? No. I don't know. Uh, ouch. Like, yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's I don't know. I mean, you know. He wears that as a sandwich no, board. Are you kidding me? That's on his, that's a bumper sticker on his car. <laughs> I don't know, but I don't, you know, okay. I, I, I have not oh, Hold on, i got to make another call. I'll, I'll, we'll call you back. Bye -bye. Okay. Bye. Another call time. I thought that went well. And then we got a break anyway. Because, look, Gary Shandling's not calling. Of course he's not calling. Foolish me. Believing that. Oh, God. Fool me one. Hello? Hey, Beth Ann. Yeah. Hey, it's Donna Mike. Hey, Donna Mike. I'm Hi. on the air. You answer your... Well, no, your cell phone can't be on the air. Are you on the air right now? Well, I'm about to go on there. there okay. Any... Okay, all right. Listen, didn't want to screw up your show. No, just... <laughs> don't worry. I'm, I'm doing that myself. Go ahead. You know, uh, just... What? Just... What's up? <laughs> Rob? Yes? How's Gary Shanley? I imagine he's doing fine. Right on fire. Awesome. Yeah. Hey, have you had Gary Shanley on your show? No, I have not. Okay. okay. All right, good. I just want to check here. Okay. Thanks, Beth Ann. All right, B.A. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Miss you. Bye. She had to go. Yeah. Listen to him. She was not there. His credit card has been rejected. <laughs> you big long head. I know. Give it up. Just give it up. Get out of here. Come on. Because we're going to get on something else now. Then you're going to say, now he's got two minutes. He'll talk to you for two whole minutes. Yeah. It's tough. It's very difficult. <laughs> it's funny. It is. It's a great... Let me just say, I don't know if I'm articulating this enough. The great dynamic that's happened in the last half hour. Buzz using the bitch word, using the C word. Rob, who really, I swear to God, has got a brown stain the size of the state of Montana right now in his pants because of this Gary Shanley thing. Beautiful. God, you can cut it. You can cut the tension with a knife in here. <laughs> How you doing, Montana? Great. <laughs> they're, they're looking for him in the DreamWorks facility. Ah, you're, very good. Your underpants look like Gorbachev's head. They do. <laughs> they do. That ain't wine. Okay, well, when we come back, you will have to tell Gary Shandling, if he does call, Yes. we're busy. All right. Very busy. We are busy. We uh, Listen, I want to play this game. We've got uh, pictures on the Internet. We've got tapes here. We've got, we got too much stuff to do. We've got too much stuff to do. And how about that buzz? How about that buzz? What a, I'm, a, I'm as shocked as anyone. You are just Mr. Man, aren't you? <laughs> good Make that fist buzzy. Uh -huh. Feel good about yourself, huh? Uh, I had an opinion. I thought I'd share it. There you go. Let's go outside and flex a little bit for her. I think I will. Yeah. Well, well not for her. Stand in front of her car. She doesn't want to see that. <laughs> just, just show her the gun show. No, no need. <laughs> Let's see what's happening. No need for that. Okay. Hmm. Well, am I the only one that's still trying? Or, <laughs> I mean, well, I don't, I, what are we trying to do now? <laughs> well, I guess uh, here's what we're trying to do. Bye. What I'm going to do is just, uh, uh, this is like... Uh, I'm going to try right now. Watch this. Mike? Just listen to me carefully. Okay. Don and Mike to break. Okay. Number 15 Arbitron rated, you know the what? Don and Mike show. That's why he gets his name on the show. Don and Mike, <laughs> free F... Beverly... Yes. Would you please get Jeannie on the phone for me? Uh-uh. No. Good. Get me a hot towel. What? A hot towel. I need a hot towel. Okay, I'll check on them. No, they're out there. You don't need to check. They're out there. Artie was selling them like there's no tomorrow. I mean, they must be out there. He wouldn't be in here saying, hey, we got hot towels. They must be right out there very close by. There's hot towels out there. I could tell. It's Don and Mike Show. They craft their spontaneity. Don Geronimo and Mike O'Mara. There's good news and uh, not so good news. Really? Mike has just left because Mike is... Mike's dying. I'm not sure what's wrong with him. Yeah. He's, he's out of here on his way to the hospital, I think. So I hope you feel better, Mike. Yeah. Um, but, you know what that means? What? More time for me to give Gary Shandling a prostate exam. <laughs> for me to just climb right in there. Enjoy. Less, less time for Mike to talk. And here now is Gary Shandling. Gary, ha hello. Don, I, I just, I, am I supposed to be, to bend over right now? Is that what I just heard? Well, what it is... 
What it is is, you know, you get this. I mean, over the phone, you're going to give me an exam? I am. Uh, you know, I'm your. What do you mean it metaphorically? I, yes, I'm your worst nightmare. <laughs> I'm your worst. I, I'm but the guy. Trust me. I'm the trust guy. Me, you are not. I'm the guy that comes up and goes. <laughs> I seen you when you drove that golf cart on the street on your TV show. That's nothing. I seen you on Johnny Carson. Did Mike? Is did Mike get sick? When he heard about this interview, or was it prior <laughs> to this? <laughs> we we are not sure. And and not uh, Gary Shandling. He, you know, even your Warren Beatty movies, I go see those. What planet are you from? Where, where you where you had the the thing in your penis that went? Bzzz. Oh, Jesus wow. Christ! Boy, are you good? You can can you see that on the radio now, huh? Yeah. Can you can you tell that I just I'm a mega fan, and of course, you know, I Larry, appreciate it. And Larry Sanders. But before we talk about your new movie, will you just tell us? Will you ever? Will you? Will the company ever release the rest of, of Larry Sanders? Yes. Here's what I'm in the middle of doing, and I am not kidding. When I heard you play that little clip about the hot towels, I yeah. marked it down because I'm in the middle of editing uh, the Larry Sanders episodes to be released in uh, probably November, uh, and I'm in the middle of finishing those with some some really great uh, features in which I talk in a very unedited. Uh, unprofessional, uh, unaffected way with Sharon Stone and Dave oh. Putney and Seinfeld. So I, I'm really yeah, in yeah, yeah. the house together. Yeah, yeah. I mean, without just boring you to tears about this, you, your show, the, the Larry Sanders show, I mean, it was, you know, fantastic. Such, I appreciate it. Such, really. In such, November. And I want to say hi to my buddy Bill Isaacson, who's in Washington. Oh, hi, Bill. And maybe he's listening to you. No, well, according to the latest ratings, probably not, but, but who knows. Um, you know, Mike, the guy who's sick right now, we call his name on the show is Hank. And, and the reason his name on the show is Hank is that he really, you know, we're two DJs. He bought a restaurant. So when we talk about Mike's restaurant, I play this tape. Hank's Look Around Cafe. And do you know <laughs> oh, that... Oh, you are big fans. Yeah, do you know that there are people, when they want to go to Mike's restaurant, they actually call directory assistants and ask for Hank's Look Around Cafe. <laughs> They, they don't get the joke. That's hilarious. Well, you know, a lot of people didn't see the show, so when the DVDs come out in November, they'll be it. introduced to them. Well, anyway. And they're fantastic. Huge, huge fan I am, speaking like Yoda. But uh, I just I, think... I accept. I accept, Don. I understand. Yes. I mean, the show is fantastic, and I look back at the clips as I'm editing them and the episodes, and they and they so hold up, and they are... It's something I'm proud of, so I'm and, glad you're mentioning it. And if you don't mind, one more thing before the movie. When when I was first exposed to you, or, you know, for lack of a better word, when you would Green go... prostate exam. Yeah, right. When you would go on Carson, uh, and the, especially the Here's first... something you don't want your doctor to say in the prostate exam. <laughs> Ready? But, yeah. You don't want him to call you by the wrong name. That's in <laughs> One thing to do it in bed, you know, as a mistake. But when the doctor is giving you the prostate exam and he calls you the wrong name, it's insulting. <laughs> oh. hey, come on. Go on. When you were introduced, how, exposed to me. How, how big a deal was it? When Because it was obvious that Johnny Carson, from the first time you were on, it was like you, you could tell when Johnny Carson was really laughing at somebody and it wasn't just that invite you over to the couch thing it was the right god damn this guy is funny uh you hear comedians talk about that all the time seriously now was that a, a, a as huge a deal for you as as like jerry seinfeld said it was for him yeah you know in a very human way uh, if you can imagine yourself or anybody listening who's listening going on the tonight show and and doing well and having Johnny Carson laugh and them saying, hey, can you, when do you want to come back? And, uh, it, it changed my career. And as a human being, it was, uh, uh, a really kind of, uh, emotional, uh, moment. And, uh, you know, I, uh, I think we have a piece of that in the DVD, you know, because we're doing the history of, uh, how the Sanders show developed. Oh, good. And I've looked at it and I still kind of get, uh, Tingles as I look at it. And when I say tingles, I think I mean shingles. <laughs> Either way. I'm not sure if they're tingles. I'm not sure that I have tingles anymore. Or are you eating Pringles? I but, could be any number of, uh, of, th of things. And, and about Larry Sanders, also, how, how pleased are you that so many members of the cast of that show, like Jeremy Piven has gone on to, to Entourage, Janine Garofalo has, has gone on. I, I mean, you had all these people who, until Larry Sanders... And I think Mary Lynn Ricecup is on 24. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, Chloe O'Brien, right. Silverman is gigantic. Yeah, um, 
you got to be proud about that, that there's a, there's a percentage of people like myself who go look at Chloe O'Brien and go, hold on, she was the pissed-off secretary sitting outside Hank's office. Yeah, you know, Don, uh, it, it, this is all dealt with on the DVDs. Okay. We talk about it intimately, and it, it's very moving and uh, very real, and then they're also, of course, very funny. So you'll get a good inside look at all that okay. stuff. Well, I, I, I look forward and I am, to that. I'm very proud of it. I'm proud of them. And, uh you know, I'm proud that I was able to help them and proud that they were around me. Well, you should be. It's, it's a great show. Now, how did, I, I know that we don't have you on the phone just so I can rub your prostate. You're, you're at the voice. Well, I took some time off and, uh, you know, dabbled in a few things. And then I was at a Laker game because I go to uh, maybe five Laker games a year and I'm sitting there at those floor seats that, uh, uh, I don't spend money on, but somebody will give them to me. Okay. And uh, Jeffrey Katzenberg, who who runs Dream DreamWorks, came up to me at the Laker game and said, "I've been looking for an animated voice for you to play, and I think I've got something." And I said, "Hey, I'm I, get out of the way. I'm watching the game." <laughs> and then I had a meeting with him, and uh, he said, "We're going to do this movie over the hedge." And he put a he really did. He put a I'm not kidding. He put a puppet on his hand of a turtle and a puppet on his hand of a <laughs> raccoon. <laughs> And he started, and I was alone with him in the room, and I got scared because I didn't. <laughs> and I thought, this is the head of a studio, and I, and I, I thought it was charming, and uh, I thought he was passionate about it, and he, and uh, so I, I, I said yes, and just dove into this thing, not knowing what, uh, you know, what this two or three year process was going to be to make an animated movie. Hey, uh, I have done it. A lot of the people that do these, uh, I read that like they do it for their kids, uh, and and you of course are a famous bachelor. Uh, God knows how many love children. I'm doing you have. it. I'm doing it for Jerry's kids. <laughs> for Jerry's kids. <laughs> I'm not. A, I don't have any kids. This is as close as I'll 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 come probably <laughs> to getting to having kids. But I, I'm curious to see it with an audience of kids because um, it, it is different than, of course, uh, it's it's so different than the Larry Sanders show, which is an adult. Uh, you know, an adult fashion show. Well, and and well, I hate to keep going back to it, but you know, what planet are you from? Again, you know, I mean, I have I have one kid, I have one child in Somalia. It's eighty nine. He's eighty nine cents a day, <laughs> and what a pain in the ass he is. <laughs> now it's up to ninety two cents. How much How much work is involved when you're the voice of a cartoon? Because I think most people imagine you go in, you read off a script for two or three days, and you're done. Was that it, or? More no, it. and I, I thought it was just me, and then I heard Bruce Willis talk about this, too. It's, it's a gigantic amount of work. Uh, you go in for about four hours at a time and scream your lungs out, which you're familiar with, because really you're doing radio there, so you know sometimes, especially if you don't have your partner, you're, you're doing it on your own. There's no other actors. There's somebody there kind of reading the other cartoon uh, voices. But in this case, we were also developing the story and the characters who went along, so... Um, it, it took a, uh, you know, there'd be these four-hour sessions uh, every few days, and then then they would put it together, and you'd come back a, a few weeks later and redo it. And uh, it takes a long time, and the struggle is trying to understand how to play it, what the energy level is, and, you know, there, there's a lot of screaming. This turtle screams a lot. I play the turtle, and he, he screams more than I have since couples therapy. Is that a joke? Is that a joke? <laughs> here's, yes. Here's, here's the plot they sent us. A very mischievous raccoon and his sensitive best buddy turtle, along with other creatures, resist the evils and temptations of suburbia. Uh, would that be how you would describe that's it? I, I would, that's how I would describe the Larry Sanders show. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's some, it's some version of that. Yeah, it's some version of that. This turtle doesn't... He's the head of the family, which... Uh, is uh you know and he, I, I think this 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 turtle is kind of uh sounds like I do right now actually <laughs> well, exactly and, uh, like you do huh well probably it's your voice exactly like you do it's uh, that was when I saw it I realized that's the one thing I had in common when I finally saw the movie is that we have the same voice <laughs> who do you who do you th I'm sorry I'm just I'm all over the place cuz it's you're doing great just you it's, um because I could have never done what you just did, which was tie, make a good segue from Larry Sanders into uh, doing a, an animated turtle voice. Oh, well, thank and yet the movie, uh, you know, it's new experience for me, and the movie really flies along. And um, uh, I, I, I think it's probably um, uh, very, very, very entertaining. And um, I mean, Steve Carell's in it, and he's hilarious. Right. And uh, 
it's it's a challenge. I mean, it, it's not me being funny in exactly the way that I am, and I play some emotional art, believe it or not. And uh, I I don't know. It's uh, the real test will be when other turtles see them. <laughs> Do you really have guys? We got to wrap this. Oh, okay. Do you really obsess about your hair? Because Rob told me when you when he picked up the phone that you were saying to someone something about, yeah, you like that guy's hair or you didn't like the... Do you really obsess about your uh, hair? No, I think that, to be honest, uh, 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 I think that's sort of the old act. Okay. Uh, All right. Truth. Well, then, Rob, are you lying to me when you said that? What, oh, what did God. I say exactly? Rob, I'm Rob, to whatever I said. Rob, what, uh, I said. what did you say that Gary Shandling said when you picked up the phone right before he came on the air? The first thing I heard when he was coming to the phone was something about some guy's hair. Mm, it just doesn't. It doesn't. Thanks, ass. Not you. Not you, I Gary. Mind. I mean, I got a new haircut yesterday, oh. uh, two days ago, and. Uh, we were talking about uh, people's haircut, but I don't remember today talking about. Uh, okay, no wonder. He's just. But a... I'm not dodging it. I mean, I think. No, uh, no, no, Rob's just a big liar. I think a haircut makes me. Well, I wouldn't be. Let's put it this way: if I'm obsessing about how my hair looks and I'm on the radio, I got a problem. <laughs> there you go, Gary. I heard the. I heard the. The guy say you got to go. Uh, the movie is called. Everybody knows it's Over the Hedge. Opens tomorrow. And nationwide. And these come out in November. But Don, I can tell you're a fan, and I accept it and really appreciate it. Thank you, Gary. Gary, and, uh, and really, any, I, I know you don't do this, but anytime you'd really would just love the pleasure of being... Uh, I'll talk to you again when we when the DVDs come out. But. Oh, yeah, because I'll, I'll give you a verbal hand job. A verbal prostate. <laughs> That's not too gay, is it? The, 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 the great Gary Shanley. Yeah. I mean that. Yeah. Big fan. The movie Over the Hedge opens tomorrow. Thank you for your time, Gary. Bye, you guys. Okay, bye-bye. Wow. Oh, you just barely saved your ass on that one. Yeah, but I almost messed it up with the hair thing. I love walking the line. <laughs> I'm like Johnny Cash. You and Johnny Cash. That's that was right. cool. You and Joaquin Phoenix. <laughs> well, that's uh, that was Gary Shandling. Yes, that was good. He's that good. Was very cool. He, that was good. Boy, and I'm all discombobulated because, uh, real, and then thank you to Gary Shandling. And, of course, you big dummy would have been better to have him on a half an hour ago. Sure um, uh Right when we got, the, when we were filling in between the Larry King uh -huh. and Buzz thinks that the homeless lady is a bitch and a C, and I heard you drop the C word again outside during the last commercial break. Well, I was asked to repeat it, so I did. <laughs> I, I answer requests. And at, and at one point, uh, like kiddingly, because everybody was just stopped, Buzz was stopped because, you know, it's like we're pounding buzz on saying the bitch or the C word. Rob is back there because he's been verbally beaten up right. because Gary Shandling's not on the phone. Right. And and Mike was just pretty much giving me a look like, which is why at that point, I'm, you might have heard am I the only one trying? Well, when we went to break, uh -huh. you know, Mike said, I got the answer. Don and I go to break. Uh, Mike looked at me and, and said, I, I am so sick. I got to go. Right now, yeah, he was hurt. And I think I think he was like going to go to the hospital, or he just said he felt really bad. He thought he was going to pass out, and he had to go. So, uh, you know, gosh, I hope he's okay. Yeah, because when uh, you're about to pass out and you get behind the wheel of a car, <laughs> yeah. that could be tricky. <laughs> No, this is not a radio gag. All right. Uh, you know, and Mike, if you're out there listening, if you wanted to cut off early, cut out early to do the drink or go off or whatever, all you have to do is just ask. Just say so. Just, a just ask. <laughs> but but we, we hope Mike is doing okay. Yeah. And he said don't make a big deal about it, and I don't want to make a big deal about it. It's just it's weird if we go to break and Mike is here, and then we come back, and especially Gary Shandling is on the phone, and, right. and Mike's gone. Well, I don't <laughs> think he's been replaced. Mike At is, first, I thought Mike was going to be doing an impression of Gary Shandling when I saw he wasn't in the studio. Oh, I know, I know, Mike would be upset, but hopefully he's in a hospital now. He won't hear this. Oh, just so nice to speak to him without being interrupted. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know, there are only a few people that I'm really like that. You're crazy about with, Gary Shandling, and you know, like right so. him, Batman, right. Albert Brooks, yeah. you know, it, it's a very, it's a very small club. I mean, we got a guy, well, we got a guy like Bob Barker on the show. Yeah, Madden. Oh, my God. Sure, there's another Are one. you kidding? Rob just gave me the best one. Sometimes I really say to Mike, listen what a dick I am. When we have John Madden on the show, mm -hmm. I'll say to Mike before we go on the air, before the break, I'll say, all right, now, you know, Madden's in this break. Mike will go, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll say, you can just sit back. Now, if I'm Mike... I'm pissed at me because, like, like, what is my chop liver? Right. No, of course not. It's no. it's on in my show. You know, it's yin and yang. I understand it's me and it's him, but it's like on on some things, like with Madden, it's like I, I feel like Mike is monopolizing 
and it's just my insecurity. The only chance that I have to speak to someone a hero. who I really, right. really admire, right. and what I've realized now is, is without Mike here, like for the yin and the yang, uh -huh. what I really was was just like a, a, a queer stalker to Gary Shandling. He must have hung I up. I think he enjoyed it. He must have hung up the phone at some point. I got one out there who probably would come to my house and rape me if he got a chance. <laughs> Think he's obsessed? Knows every episode of the show by heart. <laughs> God, I wish the other guy would have been there. Uh, I think he appreciated it. Uh, who knows? Yeah. Sure was, sure was hocking that movie, though. Yeah. Well, that's what he's doing, yeah. That's what he's doing. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's Gary Shandling, and uh, thank you, and Mike O'Mara, wherever you are. Hope you feel better. Get well. And uh, Buzz, yes, you are a bitch. <laughs> yes, I'm top. Apparently today, yes. This bulletin just in, Buzz, still a bitch. <laughs> well, Robbie, let's see. Yeah? The brand new game? Yeah. That's going to be postponed until tomorrow. At least we can play the music. Uh, here's what that will sound like. We've got a brand new game for you that involves not only modern technology, right. but... Actual athletic ability. That's why I thought of it. Cool. What? That's why I wanted to design a game with athletic ability. Rob loves sports. <laughs> but we just don't have time today. Because we'll get all backed up on commercials. So when we come back, mm -hmm. oh, well, God, what, what am I concerned about? You know, <laughs> hell, I, I, I talk it to myself in the car on the way home. I mean, you'll be fine. Yeah, I mean, we have no problem filling up the time no. of the show. Yes, and I see everybody's calling, so... We can do that, that too. Oh, we've not, I mean, we've not looked at the pictures of Christine Aguilera yet. Uh, real oh, fast, let's good. go to the website, please. Yes, Hi, uh, Don and Mike show. With Hello. Pleasure. Hey, uh, nothing against your show, but isn't it inversely proportional to the amount of media that someone like Gary Shandling does on a movie to the quality of that movie? Uh, oh, you, oh, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Yeah, I'm just, yeah, I, I get nothing against you, but if he's dipping all the way down to doing talk mm, radio, not, that's a bad sign. Hey, um, I want to say something to you. It starts with F and it ends with K, and the word is fire truck. Okay, because yeah. you're a fire truck head. Thank you. Uh, the an the an the answer is, uh, of course, you're right. Thank you. For that. <laughs> um, let's see. On our website at donandmikewebsite dot com. How about that? Now, I want to tell you. If, if, I want to tell you. Mm -hmm. If you go to our website, these are pictures from the new GQ, and it is Christine Aguilera, mm -hmm. and the Christine Aguilera that I remember is the chick that was in I'm the Genie in the Bottle, baby, right. Right. which was just kind of skinny, kind of Avril Lavigne, although pretty, yes. but kind of like a Gwen Stefani. A little dirty. Yeah, yeah, kind of mm -hmm. not real clean. I like that. Well, I mean to tell you, not only in these photos on our website, okay. courtesy of GQ, is, is she clean, right. she's had maybe the world's best boob job. It looks like that. Unlike that junket that uh, Joshua Tree touched and said that they felt like cement, I bet hers are just as soft as as a you know you know that I got a squeeze ball for tension uh -huh. yeah and I bet I bet they are just as soft as my tension squeeze ball yeah I oh. bet I'd like to try these are some sweet sweet pictures they sure are they're of, nice of Christine Aguilera and there is you know it's it's almost like McPhee on American Idol mm -hmm. there's just there's just enough nippleage there uh -huh. that you can say, oh look at her yeah you know what that is that's tasteful nudity. That's right. Goddamn yeah. right. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Hard getting my work done today with those. <laughs> and there she is, as I call her, in the mic position. <laughs> face down. Oh. Face down, ass up. FDAU. Christina Aguilera. That's uh, that's on our web page today. If you wanna, if you wanna see a, a picture, uh, we'll break oh, and uh, we'll we'll come right back. Everybody. Number fifteen, Arbitron rated the Don and Mike Show. <laughs> I believe he's gone. Yeah. We've been looking everywhere for him, have we? No, the uh, stage is supposed to be empty, but I sent the weird intern down. Oh, and you have one of those? We got one of those. Yeah. What does yours do? It's just weird. That's exactly what ours does. Anyway, he's all yours. I'll send you a bill for the drool. Jer, you were great. Thank you, Bob. Hey, hey! Here I am. Here I am. Closure. It's 9.30. Let's go. We've been looking for you. All right. That's good. 9.30. That's good. That's good. Don't worry. We can get there by 10. I want to thank you guys for making this a big night. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> I think there's something, uh, though, that I have to tell you. Yeah, it's 9.30 a.m. We'll look for you all night, Hank. No. 
<laughs> Make it go back. Make it go back. Turn back the world. It's Don and Mike show. You can call Don and Mike anytime from anywhere in America. 877-365-3636. They're ready to believe you. Just people. Beautiful minds. Don and Mike. Correct the bundle. Reset, please. Reset, please. Hello, Donna Mike Show. Oh. Hello. How are you today? Are you calling from, uh, are you calling from Music Radio, WABC? Got a lot of reverb? Hey, can I have some reverb? You bet. Mm -hmm. So, uh... Speaking him in his own element? Going postal. Hold on a second. How come it just sounded like you were in a bathroom or something? No, I'm not. We on a speaker? No, I'm not. He was. I'm worried about Mr. You... Adams going postal. Hold on. Were you on a speakerphone a moment ago? A moment ago. Would you go back on the speakerphone? What? Yeah, for fun. Go back on fun. the speakerphone. Just this once. Yes, sir. This is the speakerphone room lobby. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Everybody, yes. music, radio. And I'm from Waukesha, Wisconsin. WABC outside. <laughs> uh, the weather forecast, it's like the sunny and fair show. Sunny, sunny tonight and fair tomorrow. Hello, love. <laughs> All right, so that was funny. <laughs> hey, guess what? Kiss my ass, Bruce. No, no, don't leave me. <laughs> Bye. Now that's funny. <laughs> now that's funny. Really, let's take a moment now and welcome. <laughs> calling... Thank goodness, not from the hospital. Ah, good. Radio's... Uh, Michael Mira. Michael Mira. Please, are you? Uh, hello? Hi, Mike. Hi, how you doing? How are you feeling, friend? Good. I'm doing fine. Good. Glad to hear it. What, Tom? Hey, how you doing, Don? I'm doing fine, Tom. Where's Mike? Mike's on his way over to your house. Don't know oh, yeah? Don't uh -huh. you know about the big party tonight? Yep, we have a book party. Yeah, we had a big poker party. party. Big poker party, well, man. A big poker party tonight. Big, I didn't know that. You yeah, had a big poker yeah. party. Tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. How do you, uh, Tom? How do you spell faint? Because Mike said he thought he was going to faint. F A N T E S. All right. Thank how you. do you spell sick? S I C K. Okay. All right. Now Very let's close. go for three in a row. How about ill? Ill. Ill. H. Ill. Ill. H. E. L. L. E. Yes. Now, tonight when you play cards, are you going to be playing seven tard stud? Yes, we are. are seven go. tard stud. And and also we'll play strip poker, too. Hey, hey Tom. Hey, Tom. Oh, it's Satan. Oh, oh it's Satan. What's Hi, Satan. Hey, what's happening? Hi, Satan. Hey, Tom. They was. I am the god of hellfire, and I bring you fire. You know you are one of God's rejects. Watch it, Satan. Do you have, like don't it. you have something to say to Satan, Tom? Yeah. Huh? Satan, go kick my ass. You know who's good in bed, Tom? I'm going to kick your ass, Satan. Oh, your mother. I'm going to kick your ass. Your mother so socks in hell. This is Satan. Satan, I'm going to kick your ass. Ah, uh, you couldn't kick anybody's ass, you little like, bongo. Watch it. I'm How's it going, it. Spaz? Watch it. I'm gonna get Satan. I'm gonna get Charlie after you. Charlie? Oh, you mean Mike's retarded character? Yeah, Mike's retarded. Ah. Uh, uh, watch it. it. Watch. watch it. Watch it. Hey, Tom. Hey, I have, hey. Tom, I have a pointy tail. Hey, what is it? This is Satan, Lucifer. No. Beelzebub. This is, this is Beelzebub. Mike? Hey, Mike. Mike Squad. I've taken care of Mike, Tom. No. Watch it. Hey, Tom. Kiss my pitchfork, you spaz. Watch it, knucklehead. You watch it. You know what you are? No. No. You are, you you are like plastic dog poop to God. No. You are, watch it, you. You are. You are a novelty item in God's novelty shop. You don't have to take this from Satan, Tom. Shut up, Burbank, <laughs> and thank you for using the C word. <laughs> it's about freaking time. Well, you made Watch me it, do it. Satan. It's about flipping time. You made me. Watch it, Satan. Where the freak is O'Mara? 
Hey. How do y'all think his restaurant has managed to stay in business the last two years? <laughs> he made a goddamn deal with me. And now what? He checks out early? Well, guess what, Mike? There's going to be flies in the soup tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah, you yeah. mark my words. No. Same thing. You're going to be flying to the North Pole if you don't watch it. And where's that junk hat that I bought those big boobs for? <laughs> And where is that hot homeless chick that Buck Buzz thinks is the C word? What, Tom? Hey, I, I can I can hardly hear you. No, you're gonna get busted by a police officer. You know what I would like to have for breakfast? Some pop tarts. You're gonna have hot tarts tonight, man. You're gonna be playing strip poker. We're gonna have like a bunch of strippers on CCR. What, Tom? Strippers. Yeah. We're gonna have like. Hey, Tom. Oh, hey, Tom. Hey, put Tom back on. Your mom is here. You know what she's man. doing right now? What? She's sucking on my big pig Watch hoof. Watch it, knucklehead. I don't have feet. I have hoofs. Your mom is sucking on my big hoof right now. What? Suck it, honey. Words. Suck it for Satan. Watch your language. While your son is on the phone. Watch your language. <laughs> hey. Come on, Tom. I thought you liked talking to Satan. I thought I was your friend, pal. Hey, then you're a knucklehead. Yeah, knucklehead, Satan. No, Satan. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you like to be a real boy, Tom? Hey, Satan, you're a knucklehead. I can do that for you. Tom, do you know who Pinocchio is? No. Yeah, Pinocchio. Pinocchio is a client of mine. No, no, no. You I, watch it. I turned him into a real boy, Tom. No, you watch it. I also made Jim Belushi a household name. Watch the language. I've not said one flippin' thing, you spaz. Watch it, Except Daddy. what a mean hoof your mama sucks. Watch the language. Oh, can you get both of my pig's feet into your mouth? Look you at that. Watch, you better watch your language. I want to tell... You're going to tell who? Who can I'm you gonna, tell? I'm going to tell uh, Jesus on you. Tell Jesus? Mm -hmm. oh, hey. Yep. Jesus. Hello. Jesus is a pussy. Hello. I, Jesus. I kick Jesus' ass every day of the week. Yeah. I need it now. Jesus is my bitch. Jesus. Watch it. Excuse Hello. me, Tom? Get it, Charlie. <laughs> Charlie reverted. has the same voice as Jesus. He's reverted. Oh, oh, is this yeah. Jesus Christ? Oh, this is, this is Charlie. Hey, Tom. No. Guess no, what? This is Charlie. Your mom is sucking Jesus' feet right now, too. Watch the language. She's sucking my hooves and she's sucking his toes. Watch the language. <sighs> Isn't that nice, Jesus? Yes. <laughs> hey, Jesus. Isn't it funny that your dad... Made Tom as a practical yes. joke? Yes, I know. You know what Jesus just said to me? He said that you are his dad's whoopee cushion. What? <laughs> Tom, I got a split. Hey, my dad's gone. Tom? Tom, I got a split. It's the season finale of Will and Grace last night. My contract is up with those actors tonight. I got to ensure a large audience for them. Let me talk to Don. Hey, don't forget. Let me talk to the guy. Let me talk to the boy. Tom doesn't want to talk to Satan anymore. <laughs> no. Hold on, what, Rob? I'll turn this on. <laughs> what? I can't read what you just wrote. I had to write it really fast. Don't forget Tom is God's finger prison. Tom is God's finger prison? Oh, my God, shiny thing. finger yeah. turn. <laughs> God, Rob, Tom, you're like one of those little Chinese things where you put one finger in one end and one in the other end, and you can't get them out. Right. Hey, it's me, Satan. How you doing, everybody? How you doing, Lucifer? On a good-looking Thursday. I want to say hi to Michael Hughes. Oh, uh, Michael Todd Hughes. He's not just a, a member. He's the president wow. of the Satan Club for Management. <laughs> and also a big howdy hi to Greg Gillespie. Mm. Uh, <laughs> hit on any of the waitresses down at O'Mara's? Yeah. Ah. Mm. Uh, would you like? Do you have a message for for Lisa, the homeless girl? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, I thought so. That's a good message. Just hey, Buzz, thinks you're the c word. Yeah. I got news for you, honey. That's the first place I go.
That's where I live. You like that? I live on C Street. You do? Apartment C. <laughs> My last name is C. Satan C. The intersection of C and 69? C and 69. Right. Get out of here, Rob. <laughs> For God's sakes. Okay, let's... The Satan Show. Turn that off. Mm -hmm. Just turn that off for a second. Okay, that's that sure was fun. <laughs> um, play acting. Yeah, just some play acting. That's right. Uh, do I got do I got time for this? Uh, oh, you know what? I'd love to just play a, a little bit of uh, the Dateline NBC last oh, night. Oh yeah, please. I didn't catch it with uh, with Chris Hansen. Really, maybe the best one they've ever run. That's what I heard. Uh, it's perverted, and you got to know that the guys deserve to have their nuts cut off. Of course, but. You got a guy that walks into the house, and you've heard the setup before. The guy walks into the house. He thinks he's going to meet a 14-year-old girl. Is an undercover cop. Mm -hmm. The guy walks into the house naked. Unbelievable. Here it is from last night's Dateline. Anyway, um, uh, Brenda, uh, what do you do out there? The man was oh, hold on. That's the other tape. Well, we'll play that one first. We'll yeah. play that one first. Oh, okay? this morning. And then we'll get the buzz. And actually, two tapes for you. Right. Sorry about that. First, here's Regis talking about fondling children. Right. This is from today's Regis and Kelly show. Not from Dateline? Not from Dateline. Although, although they although. could be related. Anyway, um, uh, Brenda, uh, what do you do out there? I'm a stay-at-home mom. Are you really? How yeah. many children do you have? I have two. Isn't that no. nice? You see, there are some women who choose yeah. to stay while their children are maturing in front of their eyes. Right. Who care and want to nurture them and fondle them and help them grow up into... He just said fondle. Mm. I don't know what I'm talking about. So now, he just said fondle. Right. And meanwhile, the big gigantic trivia wheel comes down, and they're just playing the loud music. Right. And, like, nobody's made notice the fact that he said fondle children. Everyone's in shock, and here comes the big wheel. Here comes Kelly. Uncle Regis will not be babysitting anymore. <laughs> Great wow. At that. That's She's that's still that's great at handling it. Just people. Oh, too good. <laughs> All right, then real fast we get to Buzz. Here's here's the uh, the dateline, the, the naked guy. Right. You want to explain yourself? Grab me that towel right there, please. <laughs> All right. Wrap it around yourself. You know, let me just say again. Like we said when Chris Hansen was on the show, and like we said before he was even on the show, when, when we started watching the show, I said, this is, this is great. It's sick, and these guys deserve to be castrated right. with wooden spoons. Right. But you have to laugh at the stupidity of them. Right. Because, again, last night on this show on Dateline, not only did they have guys who had seen the show, and they recognized Chris Hansen that as, is the most amazing. as the guy from behind the counter. Right. Here's a guy that walks in. Now, his face, you can see it. Mm -hmm. You can see his chains. All they have pixelated is his genitals. Right. Oh, I mean, he is 100% naked. Wow. So here we go. You want to explain yourself? Grab me that towel right there, please. Wrap it around yourself. And please sit in that stool. What are you doing? Making a mistake. Making a mistake? What is going on in your mind? Now, what do you think would have happened, Marvin, had I not been here and had there actually been a 14-year-old girl in that next room? Good. What would have happened after you walked in there naked? Something probably would have happened. Something like what? Something along sexual lines. Like you would have had sex with a 14-year-old girl? I'm not sure if I would have done that, but... Marvin, you're naked. No, I wouldn't have gone all the way. I wouldn't go. You, were, you went all the way when you took your clothes off. Just fuck yeah. yeah. I mean, he completely <laughs> naked, but wasn't <laughs> going to go all the way. You know how can you not? The guy's sitting there at the at a kitchen table. He asked him to put on a towel to cover up his nuts, and then says, "You're not going to have sex with a 14 year old." There's two other notable things that happen in the uh, remainder of that. Is first of all, it gets to the point where what he wanted to do involved a cat and Cool Whip. Oh my! Yeah, God. Oh yeah, we've got those tapes as well. We and just don't have time today. When he wow. leaves, Chris Come Hansen says, man, "You can keep the towel." <laughs> yes, in fact, you must. Too good. I mean, uh, you know what? Maybe we'll play some of those tapes in the opening tomorrow. Uh, four or five great ones. Hello. Don and Mike show. Hello. Hey, did you notice for the split second when he wrapped the towel around himself, he had a tent going? Yeah. Yeah, I was not going to mention that, but yeah, he was. I wonder. Because, because also, the, the setup was that they had the, the, the police officer that sounds like a kid was saying, there's cookies out there. And the more the police officer said, there's cookies out there. If you've got TiVo and you can go back in slow motion, it's almost like 
Oh, see, see something growing. You yeah. did that? Hey, hey, Don. I did that, faggot. <laughs> yes, sir. Don. Yes. Chloe or the girl who can do a boy voice or a girl voice? Chloe. Okay. Okay, bye. Jeez. Bye. What question was that? Oh, Jesus. In a world where owning a radio yeah. was strictly forbidden, stink -a -stink. one man found a way to bring good news to his people. It was me. He made it up. Are you, can I, do, I would do Chloe before I do a man in a heartbeat. Of course. There you go. That's, okay. the, kind of, that's the kind of bold statement I can make Wait on a day when Mike is left early. Mm -hmm. That's right. I would have Chloe O'Brien before I would have Edgar Styles. Okay, Don. As he is today. <laughs> uh, Buzz, yes. what do you have on your news show tonight? Uh, tonight, Baltimore cops order men to get naked. This fence ought to keep out the illegals. And Pat Robertson returns to crazy town. Now, do you have any news about Mike? Uh, no, I haven't heard a word. Do you have anything you'd like to say to Lisa, the homeless girl? No, I think I've said more than enough. What did you call her earlier? I, I called her a bad word, Don. Uncharacteristic of me. I what, used what the bad B word. word you, uh, I called it, her a bitch. Yeah, and her. what word did you call her outside? Well, the C word that I can't oh, say. Oh, Buzz. Oh, Buzz. Sweet Buzz. Stay Don't tuned you. for news and comments. That's all. Coming up on the Don and Mike Show. Just like the opportunity just... Yeah. It, it, just for those audience members that you know think, you, think that you are above, nice. you're above reproach. Yeah. You know they go, oh, we love your show, but oh, Buzz, where's Buzz? 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 That's right. That's right. I just sense something there, and Buzz said the C word. It's spilled out. Buzz doesn't like a homeless girl. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay. And, uh, please let me know if Mike's condition worsens. I will. I'll make call, it all worthwhile. Call me immediately. A professional. Teen Arbitron rated the Don and Mike Show. Very professional. What's the word from Planet Crackpot? The Don and Mike Show. Coming up, Handsome Man recaps news in pleasing baritone. Stay tuned for this and more. Not as rusty as yesterday, Buzz. La, la, la. Exactly. Don and Mike. The big season finale of CSI tonight. Right, and Will and Grace, of course. Yes, of course. <laughs> He's a fag. For my money, they should change the name of that show. Yeah? To my name is Gilfoyle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I agree. Because, <laughs> you know the guy that plays uh, the detective? Right. You got, you got shot last week, Brad. Lieutenant Brad. Yeah, we've always... We've always had a, like a Paul Guilfoyle admiration society. We love here. that guy. Uh, you know, could be my name is Paul. <laughs> according to Brass, uh -huh. leave it to Jim or leave it to, leave it to Bass. Brass. Brass. Brass, leave it to Bass. Now, do they possibly <laughs> leave it to Bass? Would be about Marty Bass. That's right. Do they possibly kill him off tonight? Oh, oh I don't think so. Not, no. Now this is going to be a spinoff. Well, he's dead. <laughs> How are they going to spin that off? Excellent question. <laughs> Why don't you ask Gary Shandling about that? Exactly. Oh, well, as soon as he calls. Time for Buzz's uh, news and uh, comments. Thunder. Hold on, but first, Buzz, look at this. What a call. this never happens. I'm, I'm not doing this to screw with you, Buzz. Oh, I know. No, uh, hello, Don and Mike Show, but there are calls about you, Buzz. I'm not surprised. Hello, Sherry. Yes, hi. Hi there, hi, Sherry, Sherry from the state of Washington. Hi, honey. Hi, Buzz. Hi, hi, Sherry. How are you? I'm good. Good. I, th I think your problem with that girl is the fact that she had people wanting to help her Get her, get her a job, place to live, and she said she didn't want to go there because it was too far away. Like she's too good to move over there or something. So, are you saying then, Sherry, that you also see a, a crack in the structure here? That you see, uh, you know, some kind of potential problem with uh, I, with Lisa? Yeah. Before I even knew that you didn't like her, I heard oh, that. And it totally yeah. struck me wrong, and I just went. Now, hold on. That's a relief because I thought I was on an Bye. island by myself. Well, you know what? Look at. Are you the, you know what, you should go play the lottery. Really? Only you can call a homeless lady who we have living in our parking lot. Only you can get away with calling her a bitch a and feeling. the C word. And the listeners call, and here I am, because Joe's got like 8,000 yeah. calls. When wow. I, the whole time I was doing the thing with Tom being Satan, like Joe's sending me instant messages like, people want to talk to Buzz, people want to talk to Buzz. I thought they'd be jumping down your ass. So did I. How long have you and Mike and, and me been hating, and we never get a support call? He hates one minute. Hello, Don and, and Mike Show. I don't always join in the hate, Hello. but today I'm leading the charge. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello, you're on the air. Buzz is a mean man. I thought he used to be nice. I did used to be nice. But you call her the C word, and Ma was taught that that was bad. 
You're, you're not as bad as... See, that's like the fake retarded guy calling again. <laughs> pretending to be we, retarded. We're not retarded. We don't need fakes to call. Just pretending. <laughs> I think he's in management. <laughs> Buzz, did yes. I mention? What? Business takes efficiency. Well, don't tell me about it. And whether you pay by debit or credit, Visa Business helps you get things done. Your business is your life. Mm -hmm. Life takes Visa. And now, here is Buzz. Hi. Hi, Don. Hi, and Hi Mike, wherever you are. Get well. Uh, we regret, uh, first of all, any confusion that we may have caused by reporting Monday that Pat Robertson had seemed to make sense while speaking to young Republicans in Virginia last Saturday. Uh, you're speaking Queen's English when you say we, because yeah. you really meant you. Well, I thought it would be conceited to say I, so I thought I'd use the editorial we. Remember, yes, if it comes up in conversation, yes. if you're going to say, mm -hmm. for instance, Mike and me do a show. Right. right. What right. you do is you take the Mike and part of it. Would uh -huh. you say to someone... Me do a show? You wouldn't say no, that. You would say, Tarzan. Would, would, Tarzan did you learn this in school? No, yes. I would say, they would yeah. say, This is how it's done. Yeah, right, this is how you learn. Yeah. You say, Mike and I do a show. That's I right. I like it like Bizarro, though. Me do show. <laughs> Me do show with Mike. <laughs> right. And also remember, yeah. you spell dessert with two S's. That's you spell right. desert with one S's. You know why? How do you remember that? Because you always want seconds on desserts. That's right. Okay, That's I'll right. pass. Those are good rules. I'll pass these tips along. And friend always ends E N D. Friend to the end. Or I before E, if you prefer. Yes. Buzz? Yes. What were you talking Oh, I Pat think... Robertson. That's right. Yes. Fortunately. He makes a lot of sense. What a relief. The laws of physics have returned to normal now that Robertson has said that God's told him a tsunami will hit the United States this year. He told his 700 Club audience yesterday, if I heard the Lord right, the coasts of America will be lashed by storms. There may well be something as bad as a tsunami in the what Pacific is, Northwest. If you heard him right, like what uh, the bad, like what he's on the phone and he's going, hey, God, you're going through a bad cell. I can't really pick up what. Exactly. Hello, uh, can you hear me now, God? A tsunami when? Oh, speaking of that, right. cell phones. Yes. The commercial that drives me nuts. Which one? It, it is an efficient commercial because it catches my my attention. Right. But it's about dropped calls. Yes. It's got the chick standing in, in front. She goes, you know the thing that I hate most about uh, about my phone service? It's when I'm on the phone with someone. And then it cuts out. Yeah. And that's what I, because invariably, and this is what they want. Right. You know, they want you to, like, pick up your remote and go, what's wrong? Duh. So you hit, you hit volume, mm -hmm. and then by the time she comes <laughs> back on, it's like, and that's why I don't like myself. <laughs> Effective advertising. Very effective. I think that they have a whole series of those, different people experiencing the same problem. That works. Uh, so apparently uh, there were only two bars on, on God's cell phone at the time that Pat Robertson got the call. The National Guard is standing by uh, for those tsunamis, uh, except for the part of the Guard that's in Iraq or patrolling the Mexican border. So there you go with your neck stepping again. But the important part of this story is yes. that Pat Robertson says God called him. That's right. And said God's pissed and we're going to have a tsunami here in the U.S. Hitting the U.S. possibly in the Pacific Northwest this year. Hey that's, now. You want to call him a Satan? That's the heads up. I've had my Satan fun today, <laughs> Perhaps Robert. tomorrow then. And speaking of Mexico, it's more... Uh, it's more whole than fence, actually, but the Senate has voted... Oh, to... please, I thought you were talking about the homeless. No, 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 I've moved on. Uh, the Senate has voted <laughs> to greatly increase the amount of fencing that separates the U.S. from Mexico. Oh, well, that'll do it. The border meanders through over 2,000 miles. The new fencing will bring to 500 miles the amount of fence separating the two countries. May I, may at I 20 suggest? Percent. Yes. May I suggest? What suggestion? Long fence. Oh, they're very, very good. Very good. They, they put some chain link up in my backyard. Very good. That is, I mean, really, doesn't look white trashy at all. No, the most trusted name in fencing. And they got this nice plastic, almost looks like wood. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, you can't beat it. We need a long fence, fencing. apparently. Fencing. Yes, but uh, there's more fencing now than ever before along the U.S.-Mexican border. We're fencing right now. Come to that, they're fencing. You cannot come into this country. Ah, but if I knock the sword out of your hand, I will be able to be the king of San Diego. <laughs> Here comes Zorro. Uh, so 500 miles fence out of 2,000 miles of border, that's 20%. In other words, fencing. it's fencing. like having a fence that's five feet wide with a four-foot hole in it. Uh, but to many, at least, it's a start on stopping illegal immigration. How's this noise working out for you, Buzz? I'm fine with it. I enjoy the fence. What noise? Uh, the bill that cleared the Senate yesterday exactly. also gives millions of illegals already here a chance la, to la, become la, illegal. La, 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 la. Too many lawmakers. You're doing that with one hand behind your back. That's very cool. Uh, to many lawmakers, it sounds like amnesty, and that means that uh, the bill passed okay. the Senate right, yesterday right. may not be worth the peso. Okay. We used to take some relief in knowing that the world didn't hate America, just to the current president. 
it was as if the world understood that American politics goes in cycles. And He's mentally retarded. This too would pass. But it's like a woman goes through cycles. But yes, exactly. But for the first time in years, first time ever, there's been a dramatic and ugly change in the way the world views the American people. Well, haven't they always hated us? I mean, I think we've you know perceived that. There have they, been quirks about us that they've always pointed out or they, laughed at. Aren't they jealous of us? Though I mean, well, really? I think that's always really been the when case. it comes down to it. When you're the big dog, right? You know, I mean, you're going to get some. But it's never been like this before. Even yeah. a second-rate United States like Great Britain. A lot of what I mean. Hey, right. When it comes right down to it, you know what that is? That's America light. Well, I thought Canada was America light. Third rate. Third rate. Third rate. Yeah, we're the ones that kept it from sinking in 41. Listen, I know we've <laughs> saved everybody, Rob, but I'm That's just right. saying, it seems to me that of all the evolved nations, Britain is the one that wants, you know, Britain wants so much. To be like America, well, of course. Right. but on the other hand, they they do everything they can to put us down. You know what I say to them? What? It's another F word, mm -hmm. but not the one you think. The word's fluoride. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. It comes in toothpaste. Try it. Remember, they floss with screwdrivers. That's you right. had that story yeah. last week. Try it. Anyway, the, the, so here's yeah. the deal. We're a great country, and the other countries are just jealous of us. Well, then maybe that's it. Now, in the past, though, Europeans, Asians, and Arabs have disliked the occasional uh, president, but in surveys, they said they liked and admired the American people. The latest polls show that they see us as greedy, violent, and rude. Well, greedy, mm -hmm. violent, mm -hmm. rude. Mm -hmm. Guilty on all charges. And also, incidentally, you drink a lot of coffee? A <laughs> European. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Suddenly, fewer than half the folks in Canada, Spain, Poland, and Russia think Americans are honest. The number of young people in Great Britain who Poland. distrust us has doubled. Uh, in the past year or so, the percentage of Russians with a favorable view of the U.S. has dropped from 61% yeah. to 36%. If we're so bad, why do you all want to come live here? It's quite a drop. If we're so bad, mm -hmm. then why is Taylor Hicks such a friggin' phenomenon? Here, here. Thank you. End of discussion. <laughs> that's right. I don't want to hear this talk about John, Paul, George, Ringo. No, no. That's for me. Mark Five. De okay. Nice, timely reference. Thank you. They were con they were contemporaries of the Beatles. Yes, but the Beatles were popular. Dave Clark Five, relatively speaking. Give me another big name. English band. Uh, you know, a uh, Br British band. The Rolling Stones. The Cure. Oasis. The Cure. Oasis. Right. Right. Uh, the Clash. Right. Uh, they're no Taylor Hicks. London's calling. Don't you think that they're jealous of us? Of course they are. Of course they are. Of course they are. And you know why? why? Even on stuff that we don't invent, like American Idol. Right. Is it our fault that we take it and make it better than they did? Bigger and better. All in the family. Mm -hmm. Big hit show over in Britain. Much bigger here. But now, what do you think of when you think of Happy Bigot? Bob's Beanwag. But also Archie, Archie Bunker. Bunker. Right. right. Are all in the family. Hey, if you're a white guy, the Fox News Channel's the station for you, and that's our story when we come back. You know what? What? I am. <laughs> and we will be. Number 15 Arbitron rated, The Don and Mike Show. You know, a lot of shows come out of the gate big, but do you think this will last? Totally. Everybody is talking about this. Yeah. 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 It's huge. yeah, I mean, it's got buzz and all that, but it's also really good. So when yeah. people do show up, yeah. they see how great it is. The Don and Mike Show. If listening is inevitable, just lie back and try to enjoy The Don and Mike Show. Right, right. Well, let's see. Mike cried during uh, American Idol, so I can play Tommy Boyce and Bobby Hart right now. I think so. You're going to pass. He's a fag. That was for me. Oh, God. Yes. More news and comments. And this news weather music program is brought to you by Frank's Red Hot. Bring in the great taste of authentic buffalo flavor to all your favorite barbecue foods. And I want to throw a very quick, uh, not a plug, almost a solicit. Um, Madden Nation, I think I've mentioned this, is called. And in uh, late July, right. early August, before training camp, I'm going to be playing uh, Tory Holt very cool. from the Rams in uh, Madden in some kind of uh, schmuck, uh, low-level celebrity versus NFL player thing. Pros versus Joes. <laughs> right. <laughs> Pro, pros versus hoes. And uh, anyway, I'm really sure I'm going to get my ass kicked. Uh. So if you would like to play me in Madden, Xbox Live, Send an invitation to Don and Mike website. Uh, let me know how long you've been playing the game. Let me know when you might be available to play. Because what I'd like to do is uh, start playing some listeners, post the results 
on our website. Oh, very cool. And, uh, and you know, at least that way I feel that I'm not uh, always walking into a dark alley, right. which is kind of the way I feel when I sign on to Xbox Live sometime and I, I go into the rooms and it's like... It's very scary. The names scare me. Sure, you know? they're supposed to. The names have, have bad words in them. Intimidating names. Yes. Anyway, so uh, that's the email. Uh, right on in, uh, right. because I'm starting to get a ner little little nervous about playing Tory Holt in uh, roughly s six, eight weeks, whatever it is. A little practice will make you feel better. Uh, once again, now, here's here's the uh, misogynist Buzz Burbank. Hi, Don. Uh, if you're a white guy afraid of the different skin colors that we are surround you... Two white guys right here. Uh, then Fox News is apparently the channel for you. We love Fox News, Buzz. It has been a heck of a week. For, they tell the truth. For Fox you News stop. anchors and alumni... Yeah. Fox commentator John Gibson, you'll recall, led by telling his white viewers to make more babies after reporting on the Hispanic birth rate. Oh, and then there was the oh, uh, right Tony former, Snow right. tar baby thing. The you former know, Fox commentator now speaks for the White House. I got buffed in again, and right. just to mention to you, I know that I, I tell you all the time, you know, oh, too much next that thing, too right. much this, too much that. I spoke uh, with my girlfriend last night, yeah. and she was then talking to somebody, uh, and I was quoting you. I said... Tony Snow used the phrase tar baby right. in his very first press conference. She mentioned it to somebody. Somebody said, no, that's not true. That has to be made up. No. And it was so sweet, Buzz. I know that I bust your balls all the time about next stepping. Mm -hmm. But this is one time it was so sweet mm -hmm. to be able to say, this is a third party, right? right. Somebody right. I don't know, right. somebody my girlfriend knows. It was so sweet to be able to say, I am positive Tony Snow used the phrase tar baby. Hug the tar baby. Right. And, you know, remember, Robert Mailman sent us the pictures of that restaurant in South Carolina. Man. Tar Baby. Right. All you had to do, and it was so simple. <laughs> I said to uh, to Adrian last night, I said, you know what you tell him to do? <laughs> tell him to go do a Google search right. and put in the word Tar Baby Tony Snow. Mm -hmm. Came back, one, two, three, four, five, six. Got a seven, few hits. Seven matches, mm -hmm. and I say this to you, Buzz. Yes? How come that didn't get more play nationally? I think... On our show, and I try to watch CNN today, all that stuff. How come it only got played on our show? Because I think a lot of the, the real, legitimate uh, news people, press people, wanted to give the guy a break, give him a pass on his first day. He had the whole crying thing with his cancer. And, and it's a challenging job, to say the least. And I think they just wanted to give him a pass. Uh, as you know, I have no sympathy for either White House spokesmen or homeless people. Or for cancer. Ob obviously. I hate cancer. Good for you, Rob. Uh, not to be left out of the party. So we had the, the John Gibson with the birth rate. We had uh, Tony Snow saying tar, tar baby. Babies. Not to be left out of the party. Bill O'Reilly telling his audience that the white power structure in this country is under attack by, quote, lefty zealots, including the New York Times. I'm so glad he's on this stage. <laughs> Quoting O'Reilly, many far-left thinkers believe the white power structure that controls America is bad, so a drastic change is needed. O'Reilly's also referred to the immigration movement in this country as the browning of America. He's theorized that, this is his theory, great browning element. Great browning element. Yeah, I'm the, quoting he, Lost in America. His theory, his stated theory, is that Hispanics plan to take back some of the land we stole by migrating to the southwestern states. Uh, and quoting O'Reilly again from yesterday, according to lefty zealots, the white Christians who hold power must be swept out by a new multi multicultural tide, a rainbow coalition, if you will, end quote. Fox News, the channel for scared white folks. When we come back, we'll wrap it up with suicide is inconsiderate. I just wanted to take a moment out and say, get well, Michael Mara. Yeah. You're listening to the hits. And of course, this is Lefty Zealot. How are you? Just wanted to use the DJ name, Lefty Zealot. Okay, uh, more news, more buzz coming right up. Number 15 Arbitron rated, the Don and Mike Show. <laughs> ah, gosh, I hate to interrupt. It's, it's all been so incredibly, incredibly fascinating, fascinating and, and entertaining and instructive. And really, the time has just flown by. The Don and Mike Show. Uber Honkies, Don and Mike. It's tomorrow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tomorrow's our last chance with uh, homeless chick Lisa. Yeah. Tomorrow's the last day she'll be with us. Sorry, I'll see her Joshua Tree, and we'll have it out with Buzz and her tomorrow. We'll find out what homeless Lisa's plans are, and um, 
I think we'll have new photos on the web tomorrow, right? Yeah, we're leaving the camera with them. Of their last night ah, tonight. Yeah. So uh, that'll be on tomorrow's episode. Now, once again, here's Guy Bradley. Hi, Guy. Hi, Doc. Finally, suicide is so inconsiderate. In Berlin, a 47-year-old man tried to take his own life by jumping in front of a commuter train. But he jumped too late and flew into the driver's side window. He's going to be okay. But the train suffered thousands of dollars damage. Inconsiderate. And Pennsylvania's Dave Rockwell tried That's to end it. What a horrible thing to say. Dave tried to end it after 21 years by running out onto the interstate in Kentucky yesterday. Amazingly, not a single car hit him, but two of the cars trying to avoid him hit each other. Thanks, Dave. Oh, yeah. I'm Buzz Burbank on the Don and Mike Show. <laughs> Sorry, we're out of time. Was that just a generic Dave? No, he had a name. Sometimes you talk about Letterman like that. You said, yeah. did you watch Dave no, last night? my Dave. Dave. Well, yeah. Show's over. Uh -huh. well, we got all the commercials in today. Uh, let me see. Tomorrow we got a brand new game. Uh, tomorrow the return of uh, Cousin Luigi. Uh, we got Homeless Lisa. And we got... Uh, well, not Gary Shandling, that's for sure. That's been done. We had him for 10 minutes today. That's it. We got to fly. Hey, wherever you are, are Mike, get, get well uh, very, very quickly. Good day to you, sir. Good day to you, sir. Good day to you, sir. Gary Shandling's calling. <laughs> Is he talking about his hair? Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Can we meet again? Sammy Davis Jr. saying, uh, be kind, be nice. And I hope the next performer has the pleasure of having as nice an audience as you've been tonight. And let me leave you swinging. Number 15 Arbitron rated The Don and Mike Show.